Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. I'm Dan. And I'm Rick. And we are back with part four of our MechWarrior Destiny RPG Uprising. So if you have not seen parts two and three, or one, lots of you saw one. But if you haven't seen parts two or three, go back and make sure you watch those and catch up on all the exciting action. Uh, tonight, we're expecting our story to come to a close, or so we think. Um, our intrepid heroes left off uh, tossing grenades down a hallway, about to kick in the door uh, like true fed sons. Was it you? You threw grenades? grenades. Always. It's always right. Always well, Dan, I don't know. Dan's, Dan's, a, Dan's a grenade guy. Yeah, I'm usually a grenade guy. Uh, but they're ready to basically get to no, the bottom right. of this and hopefully corner the rebel leadership. So uh, we will get right into it. Stick around, the action is coming right up. All right, and we're back. Uh, shenanigans already ensuing. I mean, we go off camera for... For two seconds. It's, it's madness. It's like uh, the teacher leaves the class. <laughs> There's like bubblegum stuff in my face. I don't know what happened. Um, so what happened was you guys had infiltrated what uh, what was the rebel stronghold, mm. right? Or at least what you presumed to be the rebel stronghold. Uh, you rented you like rented jet packs from the quartermaster <laughs> and you airdropped on the getting court nicely. Nicely. Still getting court Still getting court part. <laughs> You landed on the building, you busted in, it was like, it's basically like a repurposed hospital. Yes. You know, you fought your way through it. Um, you tried to overcome the, the guards quietly, but that turned into a mess. Well, we landed um, on the, the roof, right? Yeah. 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 That was that was before you killed all the guards. Right. We're on the <laughs> Not top high. floor still? I think you're on the fourth floor. I think you went down a couple of levels. I think, was there a firefight maybe in the stairwell? The bowels. I th well, somebody blew up the stairwell like, yeah. completely. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. Oh, that was you. You yeah. right. You put put some English on the grenade, <laughs> right down yeah. the stairwell. Bing, bing, bing. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, because yeah, they were coming up. up. That's right. Yeah, we ended up going in. So now uh, you were in the hallway, right? You gunned down a couple of guards that were standing in front yeah, of what you presumed to be like an office. There's like a heavy door, right? You you threw the grenade. The grenade exploded, right? So we'll pick up there. The smoke clears. It's you all know, robots. crumpled bodies yeah. of the, the rebel guards, you know, laying in the hallway. Uh, you three weapons out. I believe you had your katana out. Heck yeah. You had your shotgun out. Sure. Um, and you're carrying, I don't know, what, a, a whole tank? <laughs> <laughs> He's just wearing, uh, just wearing, uh, like, wearing like a tank. He's a heavy you machine gun. You have your machine gun. Big old machine um, gun. To shoot through the wall. Be that's kind of... Yeah. yeah. So you guys, you know, the, the, the smoke, the, the dust begins to clear. And ahead of you, the door is sort of dented in, off, you know, hanging off the hinges, just waiting to be kicked in. Mm. So, you hear the muffled sound of a handgun. <laughs> what are you doing? Charge in. All right, so you run in, Here's, you yeah. kick the door in, and what you see, I'm, gonna, I'm taking the narration. Ooh. Here's what you see. I've been thinking about this. The head of an atlas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Every time it's like, it's, it's like, like night night riding. Riding. yeah, yes. <laughs> Dude, I was totally right there with you. So Do you remember the episode where Kit b becomes evil and like the, yeah. the thing? What, what, was, yeah. what was the name of the evil Kit? Don't say it. Put it in the comments. I know some of you guys remember this one. Oh, man. Was it Cat? I don't know. Anyway, so you, you kick in the door. Kit with a Z right? at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so you kick in the door, machine gun up, and you see a shadowy figure through the smoke. Boom, 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 shooting two people sitting in the desk. Ooh, they go back. The shadowy figure turns around totally cloaked, right, with some sort of face mask on. Looks at you, like takes cloaking? a couple of shots. Fire. You, I mean, papers, desks, splinters of wood, you're like unloading, and this dude just jumps out the window, glass breaks, and you're like, Batman? I run up to the window. All I'm right, Gal. Like We're like a couple stories up. Did he jump onto like a roof? Four stories up. Or he just dis he just jumped out of a window. What happened? He oh. falls and shatters like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and 
trees and just like doves fly out. <laughs> and then there's a guy oh. on the roof like a magician hat. Um, so you no you, yeah you I come over to the, the window, edge and yeah and it's like a stepped building you know mm -hmm. and he's he's just down there running away. So I I just jump right out the window. You jump out it's, after. It's like a, yeah, it's like a story down you know or whatever. So okay feet or something like that. Yeah. Parkour, 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 parkour. <laughs> we're off. We're off tonight. Yeah. I'm just, it just it goes yeah. into the dumpster. <laughs> have you ever seen that episode, yeah. Rick? I have seen the highlights. Oh, like it's so it's so good. Um, okay, so make a, yeah, a athletics a check. Yeah, that would be great. Do you have Do you have anything yep, to drink? Yeah. So okay. four is my bonus. Oh man, Ooh, bro. Nailed so. It. I land on another building. I'll say I just, this. I just jump across the street. <laughs> so you leap out the building. Yeah, and, and, I'm like and it's actually running. further of a fall than you think. Uh oh. Oh. You're, You're gonna have to leave that You know, you have your katana yeah. in hand. No. You tuck, you roll like a ninja. The katana's also you know? a parachute. <laughs> I press the button. Now you like... have you have some training, right? In this sort of ninjury, do you not? Uh, I mean, yeah, military training from you know being Korean. Not from I mean, not now we want to say it out loud, but you were extra conus combine. That's right. So you're running, and you're running along a very narrow ledge on this building, yeah. and the person you're chasing is also running on this very narrow ledge, and, and it sort of dawns on you, there's no way these guys are keeping up, right? But, what are you doing? Uh, I watch him jump out the window. I'm going to run over to the window. Wish him good luck. set up, and just kind of get an angle on him, and just boom, 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 try and kind of set off his balance to knock him off, off the wall. Okay. So, that's um, so go ahead, make a roll. Mm, nice. Actually, before you do that, mm -hmm. there's yes. been some time since you uh, acted, right? So what do you want to do? Because um, you obviously you went in, you were shooting, yeah, you jumped my... out the window. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm chewing on a toothpick. Yeah. <laughs> what are these Next maniacs we'll doing now? Um... Yeah, so I run over to where Colin is now hanging out the window, okay. unloading on this guy. And I look at my you shotgun and go... <laughs> you Colin, bro? Who's <laughs> Colin? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. He's right. This is right here. Yeah, it's either like Colin or Colin. <laughs> it's Colin. Oh, is this Goblin over here? <laughs> yeah, what's up, Goblin? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, he's unloading. Hold on. Yeah? Can I, can I use one of my... My narrative points. You right? have. Whatever oh, you have narrative points? I don't know what that means. I don't need to roll for it. I'm going to interject. Your grenade blew a hole in the floor to the to right through so you can jump down to the next level. In the hallway? Yeah. And you see that when you're talking to him. You're like, how am I going to get down? You turn around. You realize you blew a big gaping hole in the floor. That you right. can like slide down a piece of like hanging floor. Like that sounds amazing. Because yeah. I was just going to hang you out to dry and go, are you going to keep up with him? <laughs> <laughs> He's like um, sparking up. Uh, all right. You're going to yeah. have to use your shotgun to basically like make the hole, so, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm kicking at it. I'm trying to open up Caleb's some space. Caleb's eyes right. down. You know, uh, I, I got my axe on my back, so I, I need a little bit of room so I don't get stuck on it. So, well, you can use your axe. Uh, like true. A Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm like a fireman. My, my axe, like a fireman. So yeah, um, I'm hacking away. All right. So you're trying to make space to just sort of quick entry into yep. the into the level below you, and like it's like a standard office building, girders, drop ceiling. So once you're through like the main floor, which is not very thick, you know, you can just drop right through the the you know the ceiling below into the next next office level. Okay. Um, so you're you set up bipod. Yes, cool. I'm not firing at him. I'm firing at the wall to blow off chunks to make the wall smaller. In front of the uh, the, the assassin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's my goal. I don't know what I'm rolling for. Are we gonna have a duel on like a catwalk? Maybe. Oh, it's gonna be dope. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. So that's a lot. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, you you sighted in, and it's just hitting a stationary target. So. You blow pieces of the, I mean, just huge chunks of this building off, right? And you see the dude, he runs. And he does an amazing, just like pirouette flip type thing down to the next step level. Does out of your line of sight. He's got to have a ponytail, right? There is a ponytail. Yeah, I imagine. Out the back of it. There is yeah. now. Yeah, it's just like glorious. It's your story, Tom. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> so I realize I got to make that jump now too. He made it. I feel like I have to make it. I hope know. that I do. Oh, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like ankles point. Oh, <laughs> no. So I get up to the edge and I'm just like, oh, it's bigger than I thought. I'm just not. I was like, oh, you know, basically like that. And I stop. I can't make that jump. Can't make it. No, I don't. I don't have whatever boots that guy's wearing. He's wearing those new Nikes that are in <laughs> now. Like he's got, he's got like five yeah, pumps he's on like his He's like, he's been choking him up the whole <laughs> as he's running. <laughs> oh, yeah. shoot. Um, no. So yeah, I stop so and then I'm just there and like standing and he runs off. I see down the next level. <clears throat> Gone away. Uh, All right. So do you want to still pursue? Um, he's, I mean, he's on comms. So God, he's, I lost him. he's on comms. All right. So I'm not pursuing. I've run down the hallway. Um, but as I'm running down, I notice it's... It's not the same type of office floor that was up above. It looks more like a, an engineering type floor where okay. they're potentially, um, well, engineering something. Okay. Um, but I don't really take too much notice to it because, you know, I'm not a super tech guy. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a guns and, you know. You're a guns and grenades kind of guns guy. Guns and grenades kind of guy. All right. So I hear um, Anders over comms. I, I've lost him. And I'm, I'm like, listen, bro, I'm getting up to... Uh, the exit up here i'll just i'll pop it open you got you can hop in all right yeah so um let's i guess we'll fast forward a little bit unless there's anything you want to do i was gonna withdraw from the wall and i was gonna go over to where the two gentlemen i guess or more the bodies yeah. that the, the assassin came in and murdered and yeah start sifting through the paperwork and seeing you know what was there and maybe assassin. maybe well i assume it was assassin. okay so <clears throat> You walk over, you know, you get him in through one of the like emergency I, exits. I cut type myself thing. really badly. Like, you make I'm it look really like you're really... <laughs> like no, because you smashed the window. window. Yeah, and I try to climb over. And Actually, they're not glass; they're like uh, you know Probably. that like plastic. And you're like boom. <laughs> so you walk over. You look at the the two people. Um, they were sitting across from each other okay. at a desk. Okay, make a perception check for me. I don't know. That's one of my fortes. What is that? What is perception under? It's under perceiving. Oh, you mean like what? Uh... Yeah, intelligence. Yeah, it's intelligence. intelligence based. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Didn't so... help. You want to edge that? Um, edge. Yeah. Let's do that. I also have good vision. Does that help? That gives you a plus one. Good right? vision. Yes, it does give me. That's the same as that. that is. Can you can you re-roll it? Or that, yeah. that's not we're in the wrong no. RPG with that one. Okay, so, so <laughs> wrong rules. <laughs> wrong rules. So the I mean the, you're you notice I'm like idiot. they're very small caliber <laughs> bullets. Like you're very focused on like the wounds uh, for some reason. Like, very small caliber small? bullets like straight through the the you know right between the eyes basically. Um they were facing each other. They're wearing, they are wearing like rebel Uniforms. fatigues. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the only, that's all you really notice. You're kind of like, hmm. Are they bound? Was You're like not a, there yet. It's like a love pact. <laughs> like a, like a Romeo I'm just going to kind of forward it on the I mean, the are they just today. sitting on each other's desk? Like two yeah, dead bodies up here. No, no, they're, they're like they're there. across yeah, from each weird. other. We're not there. Less on. I don't know. I don't envision desks being set like that unless like. It's like this right now. And yeah. The guys behind my head just boom, boom. No. So so you guys make your way up. So you're well. well I mean, I've, I've relayed everything. Came in, like, so you know, there's two dead bodies and. Does it look like retrofitted? I, uh, you know, I, I get into this room and you say it's kind of like engineering. -y. It looks it look... like a design shop. Like they're they're clearly uh, specking stuff out here to to manufacture. Yeah, but does it look like it was a hospital? And yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it's com completely retro tables and stuff. Yep. Okay. That. So can I? Um, I have a knowledge of some military transportation whatsoever, communications. Can I sort of just kind of fondle some things as I walk by to see <laughs> what they might be working on? Yes. Um, so, you know, mostly, oh, right. you know, it, it, their it, tables, I won't roll. right? Yeah. You're, you're looking at, you know, what appear to be assembly blueprints for like machinery. Um, I'm just going to grab some as we walk then take them with me. Okay. Just keep, I'll keep looking at them cause I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to get back up to, to where he's at? Yeah. I think we're walking back. I mean, we're on comms. Yeah. We say, Hey, I lost them. We're on our way back. There's two dead, two dead bodies up here. 
Yeah. Okay. They have bullet heads. Yeah, so we just kind of make our way. Very small I'm caliber. Have to yeah, very small caliber. Uh, I follow Caleb. Um, you're... Let's take the steps this time. Unless you want to climb back up. Oh, yeah, I thought we were. Oh, we're going to boost each yeah, other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Because that's cool. We're going to boost each other up to the hole. Nah, so weird. weird. Well, you blew, <laughs> you blew up the stairs. <laughs> just so, like staring at the like, yeah, roll rope up. did blow up the stairs. That's one a good, set of stairs. Good point. So, yeah, hospitals don't only have one set of stairs. <laughs> this, this is still a functioning hospital. We are ruining it. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, you managed, you managed to climb back up. That's no problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there was like. Yeah, yeah you throw, you slide a desk over, you jump up. I mean, you know, they're like nice. eight foot ceilings. It's yeah, not, yeah. It's not yeah. crazy. So, do, do, any, do either of you guys have like mechanical backgrounds at all or machinery stuff? I have a lot. Of gunnery, technician, and computers. Yeah, so I like throw out these these um the the blueprints. I like see. there's blood and brains <laughs> all over the desk. He's like, check this out, guys. <laughs> I, just, I just like smear it all over. Like, guys, what do you think? his handkerchief yeah. out. He like wipes the brains up. Oh, ooh. no. Um, yeah, I, I throw on the clean section of the table. There's only two dead bodies, not like eight. Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, so I throw them down and I, I just say, guys, like, does this, you know, this was all retrofitted as some kind of workshop. Like, what are these blueprints? You know, I throw some of them down. They kind of unroll on the table. And they look like, like... Like schematics, yeah. Like okay. blue, blue, you know, with, with the grid and drawings and, like, you know, mechanical-ish things. And I throw them out for everybody to look at. All right, I'm going to take a good look at them. Pick them up. Look them at. Okay. You know, science -y stuff. No, I, it kind of, I mean, from my, what I'm looking at, it looks like it's uh, like a workshop. Like they're building a workshop. A workshop that does like... <laughs> <laughs> For repairing yeah. and or, you know, reassembling mechs is what it looks like. That in this. Oh, like a mech repair bag. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Intriguing. Okay. And that just looks like one, like it's part of a bigger setup. Yeah, so as you're saying that, I, I noticed that they're sort of serial numbered, like, you know, one of whatever kind of thing. So yeah. it's a series of blueprints for the same that I grabbed. I grabbed a couple. I didn't grab the whole set, but I grabbed like three or four out of ten. And like you said, so we lay them out and then you can see that it's sort of making like some kind of like a mech hanger almost. Are there any computers in them? Like in the hospital? Or... Well, here, you tell like, yeah. at the, at you, the tell yeah, you tell us, Dan. There, there are. There are, there are going to be, like, behind where the two gentlemen, not where, where I guess, when you're at the desk, there, there's going to be computer systems behind them that where it's going to be a couple, like, um... Did the assassin also kill the computers? No. He didn't have time. But I did. I blew up the computers. <laughs> but only... But not all of them. <laughs> in the attempt to kill the assassin, there's actually one where your laptop and put a bullet through. So I'm going to go over there and start kind of... I'm going to hack into it and see what I can find additionally information-wise and what I'm going to pull from it. First of all, let's see if you can hack into it. Yeah. Oh, come on. And my hacking skills are, I don't even know. Pretty That's, good uh, and maybe, 11? maybe okay. 11. So it's going to take you a little bit of time. So you're working Ooh, on that. Wait, and I say, and it's 12. I say to Caleb. That's fine. Okay. So hang on. Oh. Before, before, unless you have something quick to say. Yeah, I was just going to, I'm going to paint the picture. I'm just going to say, where could they be? Building a mech hangar in the city makes that's, no sense. That's why, why I'm, yeah. why I'm over here hacking, buddy. Well, you can. I mean, you I'm can build. You can loud. build repair hangars anywhere. Yeah. I mean, you can throw them up anywhere. Like a you know, drops like an LZ. Like you know, they'll just have like you know, they'll they'll, they'll throw one up. Things like that. So it's not like totally unreasonable. Oh no, I don't think it's unreasonable. Well, it's just like where nobody we haven't seen yet. You've definitely no, not seen it. So, because I figure they're what they're forty feet tall, or more. Probably. Uh, yeah, that's that sounds about right. Yeah, they're they're substantial. So that's you know three four ten stories. ten meters is a you know like an average size max. So right 30, 30 feet right. You figure add add some overhead. Yeah, so it could be like fifty feet. Like lifts and everything else in there. Lifts so, yeah, and, yeah. I mean that's right. It's a series. It's not like yeah right. It's not like it's. Yeah. Well, I mean it's like Amish people building a shed. You know, <laughs> just come in and throw this bad boy up. They 3D print the mech hanger. <laughs> with that, yeah. So, so you're yeah. you you're coming into the room. He's looking at he's talking about with the blueprints with him. You're sort of sizing up the scene. Right. Make a perception check for me. We need this. Well, I got a six. Make a perception check. 
God, you guys are the most ones on the perceptive. Imperceptive. Oh. Non perceptive. Imbecilic. Oh. oh, I gotta eat these rolls out. Maybe roll a six, right? You roll three and four. Oof. Another four. Uh, oh, that's better. What's your end? One. Yeah. You're... But I'm wondering. <sighs> so my tour of duty gives me a plus one to perception. So oh, I okay. So you got seven. seven. All right. That's that's not totally bad. Uh, tell us what you see. What's, um, what else is on the desk? Aside from blood. And yeah, so I mean, there's two people. They're just kind of like slumped in their chair. The one guy's like slumped forward on the desk, you know. The other guy's just sort of laying back in the chair. Like, you, the only thing you know is that they've been shot in the head and that they're wearing rebel garbs. Right. Um. So in front of them are uh, there's probably like plans in front of them that show the strongholds and where they are located throughout the city, right? Um, and you can see their plan of attack that was uh, on the landing zone, and it also oh, details, the starport and yeah, the, star, the capital. Yep. Is, there a, is there a Gantt chart? So, no, <laughs> we are, but there they're are. They're right on base too. <laughs> there's, there's a chart of active mechs that are in the area. Okay. Whoa. So we can see that um, who do, I can't remember. A month ago, who, who the commando? Oh, the commando, oh, like a commando. Oh, who, what did you destroy? Yeah, okay. it was a locust, a commando, uh, a Stringer. trebuchet, and a stinger locust commando trebuchet. Okay. Yeah, trebuchet That's what you've killed medium. so far, yeah. correct? Ooh. And there were other engagements, right? The other, yeah, your buddies right. in the in the yeah. So, I mean, most of the mechs you think have been destroyed. Well, with those been. three, we see lines through them so yeah like so a they game know. of yeah. chess they've checked some off that are yeah you know, no longer on the board yeah but there's several more that are on the board and then there's several that say you know uh <coughs> you know in progress or under uh construction so okay <clears throat> you know the under construction part that's what my eye lands on sure as opposed to anything right. else that's on the board yeah, that makes sense because there's no mech factories on row. No. So there are no mech factories on row. Let's be very clear about that. No mech factories on row. <laughs> I'm changing the lore. <laughs> it's my story. <laughs> um, no, yeah, so that's interesting. So what what is what does that mean? So you finally hack into the laptop. Whoop. And yeah. what I notice is going through the files, actually, as I'm like hacking in, I kind of take a glimpse above and behind, even all the servers and everything, and I see there's a larger relay of exactly the same kind of relay that we saw in the tower. Back oh, you mean physically control. in like, the room? Physically in the room, but behind everything. But in the tower is actually wired into like all the laptops. And the laptop mm -hmm. is actually wired right into it. And that's where I start pulling information from it and it's showing that there's actually several like uh, deposits points like dead drops where they're making drops on and when it pull, when pulling the information out it looks like it's just mech parts like arms you know ppcs you know LR, lrm units Illicit things like that mech goods exactly and it's kind of being dead dropped all over the planet and then they're being coordinated to be brought to certain spots and this location we're at yeah. is wonderful i'm telling you guys all this now this yeah. is one of them is is here Ooh. at this exact like we're right above and or the in the vicinity of. So now we get to the real root of the story, which is that they didn't pay import duties on these mech parts. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get them for tax evasion. <laughs> and finally, oh, we're we going for the IRS. <laughs> I rip off my cash. <laughs> uh, so so let me let me just recap. So yeah. essentially this these cables that you found right that were tapping in it's basically like a, like a sort of like dark web-esque like data transfer network yeah right communication data type right and you sort of tapped into that and you're downloading information that's telling you there are several you know shipments being dropped all over the planet presumably coming from off world yeah yeah and then they're being coordinated, sort of moved around in an obfuscated way, and all brought here. Yes. Oh, they're all being brought here? Yes, to this 
So exactly. is this where the mech hanger is? I did. That's my assumption the assemb- at this point. The assembly. Like, hanger. why would you be bringing everything to a hospital? And right, the assumption Ooh, is the mechs for really medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so so the, the the assumption then is that the in con- under construction mechs on the list, right? Yeah. And there's there's a decent number of them. Um, and there are others on that list that you haven't yet encountered, at least to your knowledge. So you think that that they're being like assembled somewhere in this hospital, or underneath of it? I mean, presumably. Can we get schematics for the hospital? Like, can are we pull it up? Because we had gotten them before we left. I'm like ninety nine percent sure, right? Because we knew about the sub basements and stuff. So I pull that back up and I look and say, yeah, there's like a five sub basements. What if they just hollowed all that out? And that was when we're standing on top of a mech. Like theoretically, that would be big enough. A to hold. black market mech. Yeah. Kind of thing. But where are they getting the mechs from? How long has this been going on? That's the question. That is the question. Well, let's look at the Gantt chart. I mean, that's what they're there for. <laughs> it's a know. red, amber, or green. What's their status? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I will. I will say that you go through the data. This has been going on for years. Right. Very slow. It very like been, long. Yeah, they've been methodical light. about it, and I don't know why they kind of got popped now. You know, somebody like, must have got caught on. So Possibly. what's the? So if you remember, but what's the end? This game? all started because the governor got run off world. Yeah. But so, why? Yeah, that's the deep question. Was it a ruse? Is this a trap? I don't know. I think that. I think we just interrupted some plans. You smell with the rocks cooking? I'm just, I smell <laughs> the rocks cooking. I'm just saying. I think, right. I, I think that we, you know, just looking at the list, there's still, you know, more than a lance worth of mechs that they're still constructing. I think we got here before they were Way more. Ready. Yeah. I, don't, I think we got here before they were ready for whatever they were planning. I think the governor leaving kind of tipped the scales in the wrong direction for their operation here. Yeah. I don't we, think that was a, a, a thing they planned. We got to take out this mech factory. <clears throat> I think probably the first thing and then get the heck out of here. I agree. I agree. And then really kind of figure out the whole nuts and bolts of why they're doing so why this I, is happening. Yeah, so I, I wonder to... if the governor was in on it and then decided he didn't want to be in on it anymore. That's kind of my suspicion. I didn't want to say it out loud, but hmm. I think he kind of was getting, you know, a little side hustle. He was getting a little money and was like, wait a minute. This and is then he realized once it, once it went so far, <clears throat> right, he realized he didn't, like, he once he understood he the implication. Was, was my right? intelligence he was too. He was a, a patsy. My, my suspicion is that he was, yes, a patsy, but his goal was to achieve independence Power. on the planet. But then another faction, which was kind of supplying all of this for him, was like, no. You're going to be part of us. Or maybe he didn't know it was another faction. Like, he thought he was, like, right, the guy. Yeah, because this isn't, like, orchestrating, and then this once isn't, he like, realized, pirates. They're not, like, bandits yeah. and pirates aren't going to be. So who is it? Who others? is behind it? We Plot know. point. Yeah, we know. Go ahead. Who is it? I, I try to get all my comms to call back to report in. <sighs> and I got to Major, uh, what was his name? Major Payne. Major Colonel. Major Colonel. <laughs> was it Major Carter Jacobs. <laughs> Major Carter Jacobs. And I say, uh, you know, base can, you know, base can over and it's all years. I'm switching channels, tried everything. I roll communications because I get communications, kill it, but still no good. Our communications are jammed. Uh oh. We're isolated. Radio silence. Nobody knows what we found. What do we do? I still say we go. We go down. We find out what's going on down in that bay. It's all up to us. Is that information? I think that's uh, that's our goal. Like, where would you get a shotgun from? (laughs) I do that, and uh, my hands bleeding because it was a katana. All right. So, um, so you guys decide it's on you. Somehow, you're going to find this this underground. I mean, presumably, assuming you're correct, and there is actually an underground mech facility, which sounds bananas. How else would they be getting the parts? Probably through the, you know, probably through the subway or probably Ooh, through the tunnels. Intriguing. Oh, yeah. Reusing the train system, the right. subway system. So you check on the computer, and there is in fact a underground freight system 
maglev like wow. type. This is Denver International Airport all over yeah. again. I was actually thinking Cooper Hospital in uh, yeah. Camden. Uh, they have a whole railway system under there. Yeah, BIA, so there's but... a very heavy duty, <laughs> you know, like basically yeah. maglev rail that stops here, but it's like ten levels underground. Wow. Um, wow. You know, it's it's well under the city. So and there there is you know there there's a whole like ecosystem of you know shopping malls and stuff underground kind of like was that Chicago that has that really has the gallery yeah. or... right so um suburban, suburban yeah. Market, yeah fair enough right so there's a few levels of that right and so the hospital kind of goes underground a few levels but then below that there's some sub basements you know and then you know your mech can fall through at least six sub basements before it gets to the rail <laughs> station <laughs> Um, will it stop? <laughs> will it stop? No, it's going to keep going. So you figure maybe that's a good starting point. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. So we'll just fast forward. So you make your way down through the hospital. There's nobody, eerily, there's nobody around. Every now and then you can hear off in the distance again, you know, an explosion ringing out, you know, the sound of missiles, like, you know, heavy artillery, things along those lines, um, you know, fighting far off in the distance. Comms are still completely out. Um, we got to get our comms back, too. Have to get your comms back. So you get down through the hospital, and you're on, like, basically a freight elevator down to this. You know, it's a huge elevator, right? And we'll sort of pick up the scene there. You know, it's this old, like, rusted-out thing. Um, and you're going down, you know, through basically solid rock, and then it opens up, you know, and you can see it's probably three stories high it's like a big cavernous sort of subway-esque station um there's no train um but you can see there's three or four different tracks that go out in different directions um yes and what do we see what do you well let's 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 dive in why don't why don't you re can continue with your narration what's what what is what the, what's the first thing you see um like wolverines like right there in front of us and we're like i don't know so, yeah i mean that's fine so bro, you come down and yes so you're looking at the tracks you pan around that's great and there it is like painted in red it's like fully assembled a 55 ton like yeah. wolverine and on one of the trains there's like you know the whole upper torso and head of a still on the flatbed you know oh it does it sound like the train's yeah. like rolling in <laughs> yeah it's just like the upper half of you know a marauder guys just like milling about yeah. working that have an absolute no idea that yeah. we're we just yeah basically so it's a factory floor yeah and they're and these guys do not look like the rebels no they look like engineers or like technicians people that are just like they well, got grease and dirt in their face is that what you think i was i i i was thinking something different all wearing like mm -hmm. red uniforms <laughs> that's what i'm thinking yeah 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 they're like literally like the james bond thing where they're all running around with the, you know, like, <laughs> yeah the, there's the definitely security like yeah. military like you know infantry like on guard everywhere it's swarming and you guys again you're like three stories up this thing's descending very slow and you see this whole scene playing out before you um but yes no doubt and as you as you come down to chest level with the wolverine there's there's the insignia Right, the snake, you know, uh, coiled around, uh, black and red, the Draconis Combine. The DC. DC? I knew it. It was a dust agent that we saw. It wasn't our imagination. Did you say that to us earlier that it was a no, DC I, agent? Uh, you maybe just... I'm wreck. I'm going to wreck. <laughs> didn't didn't okay. we suspect somebody was a, a dust agent? Uh, no. In like the first episode? Oh, uh, when we interrogated. We talked guys. off camera about the one guy you it's interrogated. Late, right. It's too late, and yeah. you were like, hmm, maybe he's a. So, <laughs> yeah, and so down as we're descending down, sort of standing on like you know, like a slightly raised platform with a guy with like a whole bunch of things is our ponytailed man standing, arms crossed, you know, ponytail at the back. Yeah. F flips it a little. Bit. Where is he? He's like he's 
on the ground floor at, like, like waiting race. for the yeah like you know like kind of a catwalk thing yeah it's like, like a all, raised platform yeah, where the you, and he's pointing obviously they're always pointing I did great elevator I didn't right plan yeah. you can just see everything yeah. I just had so a let's, no let's one try, tries to let's try to get you. yeah let's try to get behind like in the cover as soon as you get out and try to so see as it comes down down basically there's like crates and whatnot yeah. so the guy can initially see us and we can actually like run yeah, out yeah you're you're a good like, you're a good 20 yards 20 meters away so there's definitely you know like it's a big loading yeah. platform and you're right there's crates and things everywhere and there's like dark areas and there's lit up areas so like we can kind yeah. of yeah yeah lighting down here is not fantastic yeah. Yeah. make stealth checks oh i got this and i want to i don't uh, know maybe i do six oh, seven eight, nice nine nice. thirteen okay Okay, you so way more stealthy. I do have stealth. That's okay, that's an ability. So you guys do a pretty good job of like you know you're in sync, doors open, you just very quietly disperse into the shadows. You know you're all within like a few meters of each other, but you know behind different pieces of cover, um, you survey the scene. The freight elevator isn't going anywhere, but now you have broader view as you're no longer like. Um, behind the Wolverine, there's just, there's multiple mechs. I hope you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. I have absolutely no idea what you're thinking. So, we, we get out into cover. If you're thinking about hijacking the mechs. Yes. I will tell you there are a few things. A few things that everybody knows about trying to, trying to. Nice, shiny. You did Red five years Wolverine. in juvie for boosted mechs. <laughs> Brian L. Spillner. You boosted mech. Um, you owe me a 10 second mech. <laughs> <laughs> so good. We should do a whole parody. It's basically a Fast a and Furious. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a spider for sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Overnight parts from Karina. <laughs> so one, you know, um, if you're not like... Yes, theoretically anybody could drive a mech, but I am a, I am a mech pilot. Are you? Yep. I thought you're a tank guy. Are you yeah, you yeah, just I'm, do everything. I'm a pilot. And two, like a lot of them, you know, they're like they have codes. Like you know, you gotta like start it up. These are like gray mark. These are like gray mark. They're like the brony or like what do you call that? Not Sony, but what's the. Coney, you know, like you'd yeah. buy on the street corner and you... I don't know that they're that's necessarily the case. I don't think there's such I'm a just thing. I'm kidding. No. Yeah. But they're not, not, they're, not o they're not OEM parts. I have to assume that they couldn't have the same level. I'm, I'm going to... I can roll for this if I have to, but I'm going to say that because they were assembled outside of, like, the official channels, they probably had to have been, you know, admin-admin, you know, kind of thing, <laughs> right? Admin. Using, like, root access Pass or something. Password. We'll see. We'll right? see. I mean, if you want to take together. that risk... Do I need to roll? Well, no, you got to get up in a okay. cockpit first without getting shot to, well, to don't bits. you have, like, any experience with, bro, DC uh, mechs? I do. Do we want to go right after the mech, or do we want to go after, like, a command console and figure out what the hell is going on? I think we want to Let's sabotage oh. and steal. S and S. Buddy. Okay. S sabotage comes S first, right? I think we should then split stealth. Up. Oh, absolutely. And split then up. steal. Three yeah. dice split. Up. I think. I think I should, and just because I want to, I'm going to go for the mech unless somebody else wants to, well, dude, and then you guys can set what's bombs. What's the point in sabotaging? Let's just go for the mech and blow everything up. Well, because we, I need to get to the mech and be able to get it without. Oh, the so mic. you need us to cause a diversion so you can get to the mech. Is that what you're asking? We'll put it, our exactly. lives on the on the line. I mean, it's not on the line. I mean, you're most certainly going to die. <laughs> yes, continue. With your plan. <laughs> so you guys hide in the shadows, blow some stuff up. I get in the mech. And then just like unleash hell while you guys then run. When are we supposed to get to the command? Get console? into the elemental. Is that after we blow everything up? <laughs> it's, it's like 30 20. Okay. Or something. Okay, maybe do we sell the jetpacks? No, uh, they're on the roof. roof. Oh, we're going to get in so much trouble for that. Yes, we are. Um, <laughs> I think one of them blew up, actually. <laughs> one of them blew up. <laughs> We're gonna have to write so many. There's like uh, an eight-page report. We have to we're file just, about. No, we're just gonna. Um, we're retiring <laughs> after yeah. this. Whoop. Done. Retire. But yeah, I think. Or do we all want to get maxed? Okay, are you guys? I'm, I'm a pilot, so I can pilot a mech. No, I can't pilot. I mean, I proved my piloting skills when I was driving the tank. So. I think you could hide in the. I think I could. Same with me. I can give you crash course real quick. I mean, how hard can it be, right? What's your intelligence? One? Your I kid. thought you had mech piloting, though. No? I, I didn't rewrite it because I didn't know that we were going 
like right oh you, the you reallocated your mountain yeah. you know so I'm sure, I'm sure I'm sure there's like a um a, a luggage doll you can drive around. <laughs> Maybe there's like, like a fork left. <laughs> yeah. Could be a battle <laughs> master. You can just take a ride with one of us. Yeah, well they all a lot of them have like rumble seats sure. and stuff. Yeah, pop down the the, the latrine seat. <laughs> just yeah. sit there. Don't flush. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it flushes all the cool. <laughs> oh. The knuckle over here instantly. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. So what's our real oh. our real plan here? I, I think do we, we think, should... like, just looking at what we're saying, do we think we could really theoretically get to a mech? No. Your, your honest assessment is, if you try to... So you could theoretically try to sneak around, sabotage, and get out. You could certainly... If, if you, you think if you get seen or try to start a fight, you're not going to come out of this alive. So the command... If we, theoretically, if we got to the command console and maybe put in, like, a... Uh, like there, a, There's no, like... What if we do nothing? There's no command console out here. Can we put a spike into something and just monitor? Because if they're all, if they are, are getting like, let's say they're getting uh, updates on their uh, programming mm -hmm. or software updates because they're being, you know, attached with new mechanics, they would all essentially be hooked up to the same relay. If we can get to you it, you mean all the mechs? Yeah, that is not. No, that's okay. not a sound assumption. I'm gonna okay. overrule okay. that one. What do you rule? I. Yeah. So oh, if I can just get a command console, no, no, like all the mechs like come alive and no, dance, like actually, controlling them on his, <laughs> his like Nintendo Switch. No, he's got the glove. Oh, Why yeah, right. we leave oh, no, no. and go get support? Go get hamburgers <laughs> and then come back with a whole lance and no. I'll take some piloting training. No. <laughs> I open up one of the cargo things you're hiding behind. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, your cigars and be like, this is yeah. it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. No, I yeah. open up this box, yeah. and it's the uni it's the mechanics uniforms. Amazing. Oh. It's a whole box of gear, oh. mechanics uniforms. Wow. And we're going to infiltrate, get to those mechs, get in them, and just bomb our way out of this place. So Okay. And I have a whole idea on how that's going to end. But... It doesn't end so us, do I. It doesn't end with us dying, <laughs> is all I gotta say. The dice we're doing this. That. We, we have no comms. I'm just no way you know, out of here. When we started this, I planned on my character dying, so I had to play right. him again. And, and, <laughs> and, and, here's, and here's the problem, Colin. Here's the problem. Is that our ponytailed bad boy, he knows. He's here. They're, they're, they're starting. This is on. We don't have time to go get help. We gotta do it now. It's, it's up to us. We gotta do it. I throw uniforms. All right, and they're onesies. You should be in yep. yeah, yeah, they're like one. Yeah, they're, they're totally onesies. So they're like, 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 like axe is like all stuck inside. <laughs> no, it's like yeah, inside of it, right? Totally. Oh, a quasi mode. Yeah. So, should have been an inspirational speaker instead of being in the military. I'm just saying. Just well, he's a captain. Robbins. Oh yeah, that's right. He is yeah. a captain. All right, so sabotage has turned into distraction to get into a mech. No, yeah. wait. I thought we were just walking well, right over. I think we're all going to get into mechs. Okay. Well, I think I'm hopping into a mech with somebody, so let yeah. me just distraction while Crazy. you guys go to mechs. What are you gonna distract? And then I'll jetpack or something. Ooh, blow some you don't toys. have a jump. You don't have. I, a no, no, you just I'm, climb up. It'll, once I'll we have, once we have the weapon, I'll get on the like it's a thirty foot tall thing. You know how long it would take to climb? Like it's a ladder. Yeah. It's an. Yeah, they don't. Do, okay. Do. It takes a <laughs> I know it's a, It doesn't take that. Oh, uh, we'll see. All right. They have like catwalks that go up top, and you get you know. Yeah. You walk across the cat catwalk. Yeah. So I grab. Catwalks. So we. We're, Nobody pays attention yeah. to that stuff. No, but no. So, yeah, I so, mean, no well, we're suited up. Me that. Yeah. So catwalks everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Everybody can walk right. around. Nobody looks. Well, and so we um, so we're all suited up, and then you know, we head out. All in a group, three of us. I have a duffel bag. Right, I'm and again, and this is like an OSHA and, shop, right? They're they're apps. welding, they're doing stuff with, oh, it's with an OSHA shop. Yeah, with um, with, with like Freon and all this kind of I'm coolant. With, so with, we have we have respirators on. I'm with him. I have a duffel bag too. Yeah, yeah. With my well, and I grab, grab machine tool. Yeah. Well, well, and oh, I oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, I know, I had to leave that yeah, behind. Yeah. Well, no, 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 hold on. So so we walk no by. Yeah, your parts. your axe is not gonna fit in a duffel bag. I'll let you get away with the shotgun, but not a vibro axe. Yeah, it's a a one handed like axe. Is it? Okay. I thought it was like a great axe like no. you normally would carry. I mean, I'm not like a, I don't know. Yeah. You're not an John. Orc? No. Right. Or so it's for you, John. <laughs> right. so, so we came out where all the parts are stored, right? That's all the boxes we were hiding behind, all the gear. Yeah. So 
we, you guys. I you took know, the laptop with us. Right. So I have the laptop, so I look like I'm a computer in a yeah. duffel bag. With oh, okay. And, and, I, grab, it. and yeah. I grab one of the um communicate the, the cockpit communication arrays. It's oh, like, yeah. you know, sort of like a thing you plug in with a bunch Where'd of cables. Where'd you find that? Like I was saying, Doesn't matter. it's part for a mech, yeah. you know? And I, and I grab that, and we actually both have to carry it because it's, like, pretty big. So we have, like, the box, and we're going to... Walk Didn't we just way. find a rolling cart that we're able to put that on? We're able to oh, put the right. weapons so underneath we of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm just walking around yeah. holding. I've got uh, yeah. I've got two toolkits in my hands. All right. So yeah. carts, right. toolkits. We're just a regular so we, old uh, maintenance group. Yeah. So we push it, and we're getting across the the work area. There's people working everywhere. We there's catwalks that we're trying to get. We're trying to get to like a a, a cargo lift to get to the next level and just work our way up. To that Wolverine. Wait, we're going for the Wolverine because there's like a lot of other mechs we can go for. It's the Wolverine. It, it's it's it's. So the, we're only taking it's one because I can drive. So it's the Pavlov's gun, right? You you can't show a Wolverine in the first thing. So what's not drive? The what's Wolverine. next to the Wolverine? <laughs> what do we want to decide on? Is next to the Wolverine, right? I, I that's my mech. What's list. next to the Wolverine? Yeah. What do we want to say is next to the Wolverine? Some uh, some standard ones, you know, Crusader. What do you want to pilot? Crusader. Sounds like yeah, it hit the mark on me when you said that. Okay. That feels great. Okay. Good. I'm comfortable with that. Right. So we make our way, and we're walking through, trying to look anonymous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just working our way. Just humming. Nodding at people, mm -hmm. you know. This is Draconis, so they're not very friendly people anyways. They don't expect you to, like, stop and, like, chit-chat about water cooler talk. No, so yeah. we just make our way. Make our way over. We get up the lift. Nobody interrupts us. It seems so convenient. Do you want me to roll like subterfuge or something? Can... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do. Should it. we all roll for subterfuge? I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll twelves. Is all. Yeah. Enough. I mean, there's there's. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Please. <laughs> I, I hope everybody. I called it. The whole and internet. I rolled. Just watch that happen. Uh, yeah. Man. We're doing this. All right. <laughs> this is this is Deus Ex Machine, you know, or whatever. You know, <laughs> Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. <laughs> Do sex machine. Uh, <laughs> do sex machine. <laughs> Are you just like, I'm not even going to go there. I love it. Um, <laughs> do sex machine. Bro, we, we pulled uh, this off. So we've not been interrupt interrupted yet, and we're getting our way up. There's another crew that's like, you know, polishing up, putting final touches. He's got like the buffer, and they're buffing it up. <laughs> they're rain axing the yeah, uh, yeah. show. Right, so it doesn't, yeah. Right. Oh my god. So, all right. Yeah, and so, you know, we, we get up to him, and, you know, I have, again, we have the respirators on, and I just, you know, you know, just kind of like the thing. Yeah. Kind of, kind of making the eyes at him, and just kind of walk past him. All right, Dan, what happens? Oh, uh, I wasn't ready for that. He's like, he's just, he's just like, I turn around, he's like choking one of them. Uh, I mean, how many were there? There's like two or three. There's two guys that are that are working on, yeah. you know, something on this, on the Wolverine. Yeah, they're, they're like screwing in the final uh, plate glass. Yeah, plate. and basically, you know, I'm gonna hand, you're, oh, okay. you're, you're on like, you know, there was a lift that went up, Gang. a separate small, a small lift, you know, and there's a, a catwalk, you know, it's probably... It's not very wide, like maybe six, you know, five, five, five feet wide, you know. Um, you've got your cart. It's pretty narrow, but you're pushing it. And then basically, like, it splits off, and there are two mechs, like, in these, like, gurneys, right? Okay. Um, the Crusader and the Wolverine. The rest, um, you know, so this cavern has been modified, right? This was just, like, a normal, but it looks like over time they sort of expanded mm -hmm. it. And it's extremely dark, um, but you can see just sort of the silhouettes of other mechs. Uh, you can't really make them out. Um, I'm gonna make the know. call, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try and strangle one of them. Okay. Well, maybe just one comes over and great. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Well, this, yeah. <laughs> You're like what? Like this, you know, this is the communications area we've been waiting for to get this thing up and running, man. It needs. Yeah, this train broke down, you know. It's, we've been waiting for a freaking week just to get this damn thing done. Make a deception check. Little six, little seven. All right. Yeah, they're not They're not buying it. He's like... Rah! I kick him off and the gangway. Nah. Wait, why did you get to the front? I said I was going to choke him. 
Oh, well, that's fine. So well, you there's grab, two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. Okay. So, so you kick the one as guy As soon off as the, the guy's like this, I just kick him right off. Seriously? Right. Yeah. yeah, that's all. We're trying to... All right, well... Dude, we're at the mech. <laughs> all right. We're here. Mission okay. accomplished. Okay. All right. This is this is me punching the quartermaster all over again. <laughs> Anders has a problem. Anders has a problem. Yeah, <laughs> he, he kind of snaps. Uh, all right, this is risky. Yeah. Um, so you kick him off the gangplank. Make a roll. Actually, let's roll for initiative uh, first, which is huh? yeah. Okay, four, five. Uh, what's initiative? Six. Uh, it's two. It's reflex. your reflex times two, yeah. right? So I got I got four, seven. Yeah. Is it times two for your reflex? Yeah, it is. Or was that just when you dodge? No, I don't remember, but that's fine. 14. Um, all right, listen. You kick the guy square off the thing, right? So you, yeah, you're, what was the initiative? You rolled high. Seven. Yeah. No. Oh, you rolled seven. What's your 14? So you go first. Yeah. Well, I, I so you me. see him, like, go to kick the one guy, and you grab the other guy. And, and I'm just going to just basically. All right, make a, strong arm. yeah, make an attack. Am I making an attack, or am I just making a strength Un roll? No, unarmed attack. I don't know what that is, but... So, is that including my strength? Oh, boy. Uh... No, that's gonna be, like, reflex to hit. Okay. So that would be... You miss. Seven. So, you line up to kick the guy. You know, you see them about to yell out, because the one guy's, like, face-to-face -face with you. You go to grab the other dude, and he just, like, rolls like a ninja, like, Would right out of the way. Uh, what did you get? I got a 12. Okay, so we'll just go this way. Yeah. What did you so get? So he rolled right out of the way into me. <laughs> okay. Surprise, surprise. And I went down and wailed on him right in the oh, face. Oh, right, right in the head. This knucklehead's kicking the other one off All right. the thing. Go ahead. Nice. Uh, so I got a 16. Uh, I did not get a 16. No, you didn't. Okay, so, you hit. <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, so damage is just your strength bonus, right? Two plus two. Well, good thing I'm yeah. three. Strength plus two. I think. Right, which is just one point of... As long as you have martial arts. Yeah. Okay. So he's definitely dazed, you know, but he's still up. Uh, so both my guys are up. So the one guy is going to try, he, he's going to try to just move and position and yell for help. Um, the other guy that you just punched is going to try to grab you and throw you off the, the ledge. Of course. Well, because you tried to put him in a sleeper hold. Thrown yeah. off this ledge. Uh, do you want to make a dodge? You got this. Is that 9, 11? He's so lucky. Um, okay. So he tries to grab you. You guys are like locked up, but he doesn't get you over the edge. Um, the other guy, right, he called out for help. He's like, you know, he's on comms. He's like, we have intruders on, yeah. you know, platform three. And I said karate. I said karate. I, karate. karate. I have karate. You say it before you use it. Karate. <laughs> <laughs> and I kick him. <laughs> Judo chop. Yeah. Um, and I'll roll, you know. Can I edge that? This is... Do we have edge? You, yeah. I got, I got to take this guy out. That can't happen. You, what is it called? Not visualization. Visualization. Actualization. I, I will roll at least over a 10. That's a 4. So 4, <laughs> 5, 6, uh, 7, 8. 8, right? I don't beat him. Uh, so you go to kick him, and he he blocks, you know, uh, he blocks your karate. Mm. Dan, I'm gonna uh, just try and bull. You're his like shoulder. on the edge of the thing. You're just gonna try to throw him over. Yeah, I'm just gonna try. All right, go ahead, shoulder. Judo throw. All right, so make a quick contest of strength. Um, I will roll my strength. You roll yours. What's your? Uh, so it's nine. Okay. So you ah, you get him over the edge. Okay. One down. One's down. He like hits off the mech's arm on the way down. <laughs> but it uh, knocks off the laser array. And the guns it's just, it's just the auto cannon ammunition <laughs> detonates. Um, all right, you're up. Um, so how far away? They're still right next to us. Oh yeah, right? we're all in. Close so time. I'm just gonna try and boot to the chest this guy to set him on its way. With the guy that he's 
ninja kicking. And I just yell out, workplace safety violation. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just to, yeah, so people don't think that it's a fight. <laughs> right. There's this guy, like, wiping it's the board, like, zero all. days since the last, <laughs> since last workplace. Since last. Uh, yeah, just, just boot to the chest. Okay. Somebody's going to kick somebody off, is all I know. Well, he just threw somebody off. I don't oh. want to kick somebody. Oh, damn. Nope. Dude, this guy. All right. So he uh, he reaches and pulls out a pistol. Ooh, he's got uh, his brain. Dude, yep. How is okay. a window washer go like equipped with a pistol? Because they they're, they're, they're combine. I mean, yeah. this is what they they're do. Seeds. But I, I still have my respirator on, and I go, <laughs> <laughs> So worried. <laughs> he kills him. Okay. Uh, so I've, uh, you're, you're going to dodge, dodge, presumably. Yeah. Oh. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, 12. Don't be reflux 12. I got an 11. So he's like, you know, and, you know, misses. Yeah, I was going to say hits me instead. You can see there's now a lot of attention on the, like, It's a big place, but yeah. Oh, yeah, but I mean, gunshots. Wait, it's not silenced? No. No, it just echoes through the whole area. It's a laser. Nobody's lugging around, like, boxes of ammo. Slugs are right. not for pistols. Yeah, sure. Nobody. I'm a laser person. Okay, nah, fine. Yeah, you are a laser person. My, my whole backstory only... was that I'm a laser and katana person because of my Draconis Combine. Oh, well, you, you failed. Know, but that's fine. That's All fine. right, I'll tell you what. Four, five, six, it's a laser. Yeah. It's a laser. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> it's still, though, you're I'm getting... I'm welding something just in mass. But there is some attention because some sure. dude just fell off three floors and splattered uh, by the bottom of the max. <laughs> So, you're up. I'm up. And uh, the guy just shot at me. He still has pistol out. Yeah, so I'm going to, again, try to karate him and, like, grab and judo throw him. You know, with his with his outstretched gun arm, I'm going to try to, you know, leverage him and throw him off the edge. Nope. You don't. Nailed it. Dan, can you make a perception check? So, I wait, can't, so what? Because I am an idiot. <laughs> I assume that I, like, trip and fall. I have six cents. Can I make a perception check? That is no, but what you can do is use your sixth sense to grab him from falling over the edge because you yeah. just did. I'm like, I'm like hanging. Yeah. Like... All right. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So you notice a couple of things. All right. The first thing is, as I was describing the catwalk, right? Yeah. It sort of terminates right at on the you know on the two mechs that are in these bays. Yeah. Um, there are two lifts at the end connected to the things right that you didn't go up but they're for the pilots right yeah, yeah both of them are coming up and they've got at least five dudes on them you know you can see them coming up you know rifles like soldiers yeah. right infantry you look over your shoulder you see more dudes coming up the main the my, big thing that you can my intention this turn was to <clears throat> go for the crusader to get in it and activate and start getting everything operational okay so that's why i was gonna leave these two to you know, yeah, we, and we yell. Guy. We say, go, get to the mech. And while I'm hanging off the edge. We're like, just yeah, go. need to yell at me. I already planned on doing it. Somebody's got to get it. And I say, somebody's got to get like, it. You're like, I'm going to go for the mech. You're like, just go for the mech. <laughs> Save yourself. Just go. You're like, I, I just said that. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Oh. I said it. I gave you permission. This is oh. my story. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so that's so what I'm going to do. That's what okay. my turn's going to be. Yeah. All right. So well, you, you book it, and you get down to the Crusader. Um, and you know, obviously there's like a hatch, right? Um, climb in, put the helmet on. I so, so you pop Try the hatch, test one, you hop in. Test Meantime, one. you, it's you, you one-on-one -on -one with this other guy, right? Who just kicked him over or like yeah. dodged him. At this point. Right. I'm, oh, I'm, wait I'm a minute. Still... Hang on. Yeah, I'm hanging. Hey, he's hanging. You're hanging. <laughs> there's a dude who just basically blocked him over the edge. Yep. You're going to bend over and pick him up. Get punched in the head. I mean, that's what I wouldn't do. Oh, I'm yeah. fine, buddy. Just paint the take picture. Him. Just all get right. it. We don't need him. You stopped me from falling. <laughs> I was able to grab, right. so I can take care I'm of him. I'm going to yell back and say, we don't need him. Yeah. We don't need <laughs> him. We don't need He's Anderson. the only other pilot. He um, keeps causing trouble. <laughs> so, again, I'm going to try and kick this dude in the chest and knock him off. Okay. Um, I keep on going for the chest. Why? So many kicks. Yeah, I, I just know. Shoulder, shoulder man. Take man use your shoulder. That's what I did. Ooh. Shoulder charged. Threw the guy right off. You guys were like, let me use my little leg. How many actions do I get? 
one. I mean, you get to attack and move, basically. Yeah. Can I use my thing to interrupt the order? No. No, you can. That's the thing in the book. You've used so many plot points. You have. You have. Did I? Oh, yeah. I wanted to grab the guy's leg for you, but that's okay. Sorry. Um, not this time. <laughs> How close am I to that guy? And does he still have no, his No, I mean, gun? you're all in melee. You're, like, right all right next so to him. So I other. have to deal with him. I can't just, like, open up my bag and get Yeah, he's basically out. in between. You can hit him with your bag. Daniel Son. Uh, throw your bag at him. No, 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 I right, just shoulder head shoulders, <laughs> and toes. Two hours seven, eighteen. All right, so you hit. Uh, roll dangerous. for your uh, so uh, so your damage is gonna be one. So it's gonna take a little bit, but let's make a strength a, a pose strength check. Ooh, that's not Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right, so you get him. So you push him over the edge. Um, Onto the lift of soldiers that are coming up. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, like ah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like standing <laughs> there. There's, there's like a hole in the edge. They're up. He will become our so, arch, arch nemesis. So I've knocked him over. Also the ponytail. Yeah. Can I take a secondary action now? Sure, what do you want to do? I want to open up my bag and get my gun. So I'm All not right. dealing with him. Yep, so you've... he's like, help me. You're like... <laughs> Shotgun <laughs> and grenades. So okay. I'm grabbing my grenades. Yeah. Shotgun on one hand, grenades in the other. Yeah, just yep. <laughs> like four of them. He ends up tossing the raw one. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you're hanging. Yeah, I'm just going to get up. You know, yeah. Do I need to roll for this? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to roll... All right, so you pull yourself up, you scramble up, and as you scramble up, you hear the the familiar sound of lasers. Um, They're all lasers now, courtesy of you. Laser snakes. Uh, And there's there's a you know that that last in there's a couple dudes in front sighting in. So that guy dropped his gun obviously when he fell off. So I'm I'm like crawling underneath the railing onto the gangplank, and I'll just grab the guns just. You know, as the things come up, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, just All like right. grabbing it on the ground, yeah. shooting it, you know, whatever. All right, see if you can, you can hit somebody. Seven, eight, nine. All right, so you get somebody. Okay. So, oh, you don't have to roll. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, so you, you hit one guy. I yeah. mean, they're clearly armored, so you're not sure how much damage you did. It's a little, you know, you're, you're at a decent distance. Probably a blade of armor, too. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm, my whole thing is to get into that mech. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to get to, to the cockpit, to the, to the, to the, um. Poor Cullis. Yep. <laughs> it's slowly coming down. Yeah. So you get over to the Crusader. You don't get in it yet. Okay. Um, you, you're trying to get the hatch open. They're, I mean, it's clearly locked. Oh, can I pick the lock? With I don't know how they freaking lock. With what? I Break literally, the... my hands. I don't have any weapons or anything. I just ran over weapons. there. No, I don't. You got this. No, there's no, there's no biometrics. It's like, it's like a... It's like a code. Oh, just what a is code. This, 1985? Yeah. I'm going to try one, two, yeah. three, four. They don't. It work. 100. percent It works. Uh, it did not work. Okay. I so try one. You try and lock try out. and three. wedge it. Like open up the the panel and then kind of just like the wires. And there you go. You got move. tech. You got technician. Techiness. Now you're gonna be uh, a little bit under duress because these dudes are coming up and they see you and, and they're speaking in a language you I'm don't understand. They're I'm... like yelling. No, remember I told you there's three elevators. Oh, I'm saying I'm telling them. I'm yelling. I'm not with them. Oh, <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> they're, they're not speaking your language. No, I'll right. just put it that way. All right. Uh, and they're you know you know there's some shots coming up at you okay um so go ahead you make your roll oh my god this. Here, i gotta make this happen we got it didn't no what not, seven 12 12 yeah you got 12 i got a 12 well I, would this be considered right. a non-combat test for yeah so then it would be 13 okay uh so you get it so you know you Ooh. pull the panel and like you see the wires and you bypass the security like you just you take a couple of guesses and they happen to be right and t- 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 and you you hear like the hiss of steam and like the, the, the so cockpit typical. lock dis- disengages. It was actually um, one, two, three, four, red. Like, five. five. Right. <laughs> uh, so, however, the bad news is uh, you take a couple of of hits. Can I dodge? Um, well? You can you can dodge. Yeah, you can dodge while getting yeah. into the can. The yeah. Uh, okay, so you dodge one. Okay. You need only dodge one more. Come on, do it. So that Don't is get it. Nine. Um, so you take. Oh, really? That's you ten. 
Yeah, no, the one guy rolled really well. Okay. Um, actually, two guys rolled really well. So okay. you take four points of damage. It is energy damage. Well, that um, would be your... physical damage because I don't have any armor. You don't have any armor left. Because that is gone. Okay. And we never replay it. So yeah, one, so... you take one and your armor's wrecked. So yeah, so you take four. We strip down. These are jumpsuits. They go on top of everything. I mean, my armor so was trash just... anyway. His armor was gone. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, so... do you still have armor? Yeah. Yeah, then it's fine. All right. Uh, so, so one, two, three, four. So you mark row to row. So it's a good question. So you start with the top row, mark them both off. Both of these. Okay. And then the second row. And now then... you're going to have to make a consciousness check, Dan. Yeah. Uh, you are at minus two to every single roll you make, except for this one. And you need to get a five or better, or you black out. Ready for double ones? Now, you yeah, did two. spend your edge. Dan. I know. I... You're going to make this easy. You did it. You got it. Oh, All sweet. right, so you God. managed to grit your teeth and you throw the cockpit open and jump inside the Crusader. Yeah. Tom, that was same for you, though. Laser beams ripping across the platform. Sirens are going off. Klaxons, right? You know, the whole place is, is on high alert. You see Ponytail Man. He is with the group coming up. Oh, no. The big, the big thing. Man. He Which has his katana he now. Up? Okay. Because I am currently rolling my grenades down behind us oh, for the large lift that's coming He's up, going not to the be pilot lift. Right. You're, you're not going to be able to roll the grenade. You're, you're going to have to throw the grenade. That's, it's, it's a pretty decent distance. So essentially... I, more than anything, I'm going to try and blow the catwalk up so that melee combat can't happen. All right. So but, basically, it's like the Crusader's over here. The Wolverine, I mean, they take up a huge amount of space. Yeah, yeah, Crusader's yeah. over here. Yeah. Right. So the first fight took place here. Right. Well, actually, took place much closer yep. to the Crusader. This is probably, uh, I want to say, probably like 50 yards, 50 meters. Whoa. Okay. It's it's a substantial amount of distance, yep. right? Um, this is where the big lift is coming up, right? And there's a little lift here with five dudes on it. Yep. And there's a little lift here with five dudes on it. These dudes, Dan's down here. Yep. Okay. You guys are here. Only to All right. That's it. So, backstory, I played interstellar minor league baseball. Okay. I thought you bowled. No, I actually... Le I, you definitely bowled I was a last knitter. week. You were a knitter. You've always been a knitter. I'm pretty sure you were a bowler. Did I say I was yeah, a bowler? bowler? Yeah, that's how you put English on the grenade. Then, I, then I, I, was, I'm, I was a bowler. You have a nose and, and also a like ball. lawn bowling. So like super strong underarm throws. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> that was a JV softball. Right. So my intentions are to... JV. <laughs> you weren't good enough to make varsity. I was, I was a cricket bowler. Right? Oh, yeah. so oh, that's cricket bowler. Yeah, so wow. I'm trying to get my grenades to, well, to land there. My character played Jai Alive. It's going to be catwalk. super hard because it's a catwalk. You have to get the thing to stop, right? Well, that's why I'm bowling because <laughs> anywhere along. Just open it. Dan's trying to be speaks. real quiet. The <laughs> dice is respectful. All right, the dice, the dice speaks. The dice yeah. speaks. Here we go. It happens or it doesn't. Not too bad. Plus athletics? No, plus your reflex. So 12. All right. Give it it's attack, stopping right? somewhere around here. This is going to be a very difficult roll. All right. So you manage to get it to land. It doesn't roll off the platform. Uh, it explodes. What happens? What happens? Ponytail guy, Yoshiro takes shrapnel in the face. He falls to the side like this. <laughs> and he turns around and just stares at you with like, you know, streaks of blood on his face. He's no longer have his helmet on. It. Oh, he's got a... Yeah, but that... The helmet? It's, it's like the... It's like the... Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, like the really like cool... The... And his ponytail sticks to the back of it. Oh, I love that. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, so he's, yeah. he's staring at me? Yeah, so now he's down and he's staring at you. The and other I guys got, are like... Obviously, yeah, he's got his like katana out to the yeah. side. I just oh, grab my axe out of my back and I look at him. And I stand oh, there like that. And the whole time, I'm like behind you, scrambling to my feet, right? Is your katana in his bag? No. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. I just remembered. It has to be, because I, to be. I would never leave this you would katana. Never. This no. is a family. Samurai, I never, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. never so I grab, you know, the sword out. You've got your axe out. I've got my sword out. And we're just like staring this guy down. The rest of the people are like blown apart, right? Yeah. A couple of them fell. It's just him and us. 
is he going to make the leap? Did you blow a hole in the catwalk? I've blown the catwalk up over here. But don't we have to get through the catwalk to get to the mech? No, I've blown oh, the catwalk up on wait, the lift. Me, I, I didn't see this part. So I thought he, this is him Wolverine's here. here. Oh, Crusader's here. And this is him there. Him here, you got it. Right <clears> yeah. So, so I, I say, the, whole, I, thought I, the say I just need some clean. time. It was the first one, and then the Crusader was the second one. It is. Crusader's the second yeah, one. That's what Okay, so... So, so this dude's coming up this lift here. Doesn't matter. Because the idea was to blow up the catwalk. We're, we're, telling, we're telling this story right now? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you're, you're facing wow. that guy down. Man, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, <laughs> yeah. Well, I realize, uh, I realize we're running out of time. That lift's coming up. It's uh, slower than the others for some reason. Just wow, I think the explosion may, might, have, yeah. might have shaken it a little bit, and it's yeah. taken time okay. to... So I say to Caleb, I was like, you just have to hold him off till I get the, the Wolverine open. And I turn around and run over to the Wolverine. I jam. You got this, bro. Yeah. I, I, I shred the hydraulic cables that control the lift and it just starts falling oh okay well no. wait a minute oh you're gonna you're gonna try to shred the cables sure make an attack roll they're they're immobile cables <laughs> <laughs> it's a gear driven <laughs> oh, so i jam my katana and it just like shreds my katana just explodes and shards oh come on dice don't Dude, do dice you dirty been, they've been doing you dirty time well you you would you you're hacking at the cable you know, but but no luck. Okay, so I just move on then. It, I I just did it as a passing thing as I went by. Okay. To get well, to you the, didn't you didn't get them. Yeah. So you jump over to the Wolverine. So I don't deal. It's time. locked now. Yeah. You. But he's on the other Yellow. side of. I'll let he it. easily right? jumps over it. Did he? Yeah. Do you remember him jumping like ninety feet through? Yeah, he, did. he jumped. He jumped down uh, for four stories. Am I allowed window. to intervene here? No. Oh. You're still. You're still. This is like happening you're while you're doing the security thing. Okay. Um. So he oh, looks at you. He sees him, him run oh, away, jumping. and he you're like just charges. I know. So you you run yeah. over. You hit the cable. You're over at the Wolverine. Yeah. And I'm I'm just I'm doing the same thing. I like use the butt of my katana to bash open the the um beep, 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 boop, boop, plate, and I'm just you know hot wiring. I mean, on the radio, I told you, you know. to try one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. No, that does not work. You <laughs> hot wired the you Our hot comms are jammed anyway. Yeah, your comms are yeah. jammed. You think you might be able to bypass it. You know, to your earlier point, like it's not like, you know, super hardened <laughs> security. Like these things are like pretty basic, like just yeah, if they're clearly not like to keep like mischievous techs out of the cockpit type of thing. They're not like, you know, they're not high grade security. Um that you might find, like, you know, uh, like to, to your point, like a fully assembled, like, off the factory type yeah. thing. They literally so, use, like, a dial pad from, like, a payphone. <laughs> it's like it's ADT. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your emergency? <laughs> Someone's trying to break into my Mac. <laughs> um, okay, so while you're doing this, this dude's charging, and you're waiting. Are you going to charge him or just wait? Um, defensive stance, wait. Defensive stance. So he makes the first attack. He leaps in. Ah, boom! Comes in like lightning with his katana. Um, go ahead, make a, make a roll. Counter attack. Alright, so you, you handedly block it away with your axe, you can immediately counter attack. Perfect. And I immediately counter attack. You throw a grenade in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I pull out my shotgun. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's gonna be hard. Well, oh, you get him. You get him. So you're going for a while. I mean, like, he's... Okay. And you go... But you finally, like, elbow him in the nose and stun him for a second. You know, Not where... Not perfect nose! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's already a little yeah. damage from the grenade, so he, like, winces a little, and then you come across his gut. Now, you do... What's your axe damage? Crazy. The axe damage is four plus strength, so seven. Well, your strength, remember, it's modified, so it's actually a plus one, so you do five points of damage it's with the insane. axe. insane. Yeah. Like, that is... Freaking nuts, dude. So, I guess my katana does four. Okay. So he takes a substantial chunk of damage. Uh, however, he is wearing armor. Of course he is. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to mark that, so that off. But what's that? I s said he can't be wearing that much armor because of his dexterity. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a little vest? Maybe a little vest. All right. Um, he's got those awesome peaked. So we're just gonna stick stick with this one. So he's gonna make another, you know, again, you guys are going at it. So this time he gets you off your footing. Uh he's gonna hit. So you take four points of damage. Do you have any um do you offset that? Uh, he's got armor. Rick. 
I mean, do you do lessen it? Is it like? No, you just take I, the armor. I have like offset for ballistics. Okay, yeah, that's what I was not. Guess. I couldn't think of the word for it, so thank you. Right, You're welcome. Um, Happy to help for the life of me. You're up. So get him. Get him. I stumble back a little bit because he he has gotten a good slash at me. Yeah, but I regain my footing and just come back in again. So. All right. So you know you 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 clumsily swing with your axe and he dodges away uh, and gives you like a little kick to the to the face. Nothing nothing substantial. So you guys are locked in this duel. Meanwhile, you pop down into the Crusader. Beep. Let me start firing it firing up. up. You've never driven a mech in your life, right? You uh, don't have mech piloting. I mean, I have piloting. No, no, you have vehicle piloting, right? Oh, it just says piloting. Vehicle, right? You drive a tank. That's yeah, fine. so you pick. You have to pick <laughs> a fine. sub. Um, oh, okay. Yes. Well then, um, I did not. But, but you know, you've, you've driven vehicles and you've driven machines in the thirty-first century, so it, maybe it'll translate. Make a roll. I'm not no, not all. Go one. So many more buttons. <laughs> Where's the steering wheel? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Do our do our sh What am I going off? Intelligence. Technician. I oh, know. Just uh, yeah. What your reflex, right? We're all done. Oh, so just uh, reflex. Nine. You can get some systems online. You're not exactly entirely sure how to get the reactor online. Well, I do. Like I said, I have the tech empathy, which gave me a plus one. Would that? That's for tools. like repairs. Tech okay. is like repairs. Right. Um, Doesn't you know. Have to be. So it doesn't have to be. I mean, tech empathy. I mean, listen, you guys basically well, just like waltz to... into this like base no, camp. Give me like some challenge. Any non combat, Absolutely. I guess. But um, so you're trying to get it online. You get yeah. the communication systems online. You know, you get the you know you don't get the weapons online, but you know you get like life support sensors and communications online. Like you know, basically like the accessories. Yeah, nothing. The that radio could actually comes on. Be useful. Right, weapons yeah. and stuff like things that are going to require the fusion reactor are not online because you, you haven't gotten even booted up the power plant yet. Um, so you're you're working on this stuff. You know, you know, sensors online, communications online. You know, all this stuff. Um, so you. Yeah. So you look over your shoulder and you see Rick get like kicked, slashed, punched. I still have my gun. You do. I tell you I'm alright. No, yeah. you don't. How you do that? But yeah, you can you see that. Right. I look back and I'm torn. I don't he's know what also to do. just seen me But I know that my all that matters is that we get in the mechs and we get him going. So I, I just focus. Good. Okay. I gotta focus. I, I trust that you're I'm gonna sacrifice myself and come back No, as a you, you'll be fine. <laughs> you're gonna be so I'm gonna roll again. I'm getting I'm getting the, the security undone. Roll seven, eight, nine. Let's say with intelligence. Ten. You're still struggling with it. Thanks. Okay. You're still struggling with it. We're gonna go one round with you. So he's gonna act first because yep. you know you missed. He's got the advantage. You can try to dodge. Yep. Nope. All right. So you take another four points. Uh, so he has hacked through all of your armor. Basically, your armor is just limp. You know, it's a huge gaping holes in it, hanging sort of loose from your, you know, your coveralls all shredded. Um, and this guy's lethal with a blade. Like, one good so one I... good slice, and it could be the end. Uh, now, you can make a quick counterattack if you want. You got this. Yeah. What else would I do? Stand just, there and just get hacked? Run away. <laughs> no. uh, the other thing, by the way, is the... the lift. Yeah, the lift. It's getting there. It, 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 get it. it is there. Counter. I'm going to edge it. Okay. Well, let, let's see if he right. dodges first. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, what's your total roll? Uh, it's that plus six. So. Plus, oh, I, I don't beat that then. So you hit him. So you deal five points of damage. All right. So his armor equally it's shredded. Oh, nice. Um, now, bad news is this. You hear this loud, like, like noise, and you 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 look up from what you're working on, and both of the lifts have like come up almost at the same time, like one and then the other, and there's like five dudes, and they they haven't been able to get line of sight on anybody. You because you're locked in a battle with their one of their you know captains, uh, you because you're inside the mech, and you, you know you I'm because like, you've been on like the yeah you've been on the back side of the mech yeah. like kind of working on it, but now they swarm out, so. 
the first five guys put up their guns and they're like, drop your weapon. Uh, the other ones, you know, you, you you can see them out the cockpit glass, right? And the Crusader, they're swarming around the Crusader. Uh, and like two of them jump onto the mech. So we'll go around this way. You're up. I'm going to get in the mech. <laughs> I'm going to get this thing open. Okay. All I can do. You roll a 12. Well done. All right. So yeah. there's the hiss. And I slide in as the... Yeah, so the one and one the of the guys, they didn't see you at first, so the yeah. one guy hears the hiss, he turns around. Uh, just make as, a reflex save. Just Let's, as or, um, reflex save. Make a reflex roll. Wow, that was oh, bad. Yeah, Whoa. so he hits you. Okay. Oh my god. Is it ablative? Yes. It's laser. So I, minus two, so I take two. You take two. Well, it goes through the armor, so how does that work? You only take one then. Okay, so I take one. So I need to make a con check at a three? Yeah. Okay, and I'm taking a minus one to all my rolls. Okay, so I get a seven. Seven. Oh, wait a minute. You're supposed to be at a minus two to all your rolls. Okay. <laughs> so you're in the cockpit, right? Because you took damage, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're the minus two to everything. I almost forgot about that. You got that. this. Okay. You got yeah. the fancy You're like in the cockpit, you're like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so. You're doing good. So I'm in, in the mech. You're in the mech. I know what I'm doing in the mech. You know what you're doing. I do. Okay. So I'm getting this thing online. And once our comms are up, I'm immediately gonna like the yeah. hey, those guy those those passengers just landed that plane, right? Yeah. Same idea. I'm just gonna be like, dude, you just flip that switch. That's yep. how you get the reactor on. Okay. So so well first of all, yeah, roll to start it up. Yeah, easy. <laughs> the yeah. Wolverine comes to life. And I just swipe there's like, all those dudes right there. There's just like, like, two lasers like I, hitting the, yeah. the cockpit. I, I, I pick Cannibal Iron Giant up, style. And I, yeah, and I smash the points. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just kidding. I know, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. So I get online, my comms come up, and I, I instantly am like, you know. Yeah. You know, like, red, you red, red button that says yeah. on! Yeah, I crackle up, I say, have you gotten your mech up? Yeah, yeah. yeah just... You're like, I'm bleeding out, buddy. I'm, 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 I'm real, I'm real <laughs> bad. Yeah. So you get I'm the comms. Don't fall asleep. Hang on, so back to you, right? So oh, all the guys, as soon as you hear the reactor come online, all like all of the squad like looks over their shoulder. Make a a, um, a willpower check, uh, not to be distracted. Go ahead. Okay. So you maintain your focus, and of course uh, Yoshiro does not flinch at all. Uh, so he takes the opportunity to lunge at you again. Um, because you had stopped for a minute when, you know, five dudes had their rifles trained on you, but now they're off of you. So he slashes at you. Um, oh, you have a chance. Can you dodge? Oh. What do I add to dodge? Oh my God. Twice Anything? your reflex. Twice so my nice. reflex? Come on. So um, I got a nine. Six, yeah. nine, ten. Did you get a ten? Yes. Twice my reflex, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, dang, dude. That's right. Oh. <sighs> Oh, you have reflex three, yeah. That's right, because that's just a lifesaver. Yeah, that's right. You just kill stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you can strike back. Sweet. You're the and right man for this job. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. Apparently, piloting is reflex too. So I would have been dead already. He would be a perfect pilot. Eight, so plus six, so fourteen. Fourteen. And I got a uh, nine plus four. You hit. How much damage you did? Five. He died. No, he's definitely checking for being conscious at this point. He is, but he's still conscious. So, you know, like, you rent, like, a, just this gaping, like, wound in his chest. He I, staggers back. Did I get maybe a like you break his yeah. collar? Yeah. Probably broke but, not, but not his, not so his sword arm. Like, oh, damn it. Not his sword arm. He but staggers he's like ninja, back. Right? So he's, he dual wields? That's he, true. He's the one-handed guy. He, he does this. I didn't <laughs> hear that before. Uh, so either way, detail. he's still functional, yeah. but you know, quite a quite a wound right. inflicted in him. However, as soon as he cries out, the other dudes turn around, and you're Max, like, and you see these dudes like about to blow Rick away, um, and you know he's yelling at you over the like all of a sudden your comms are like you're I'm on calm. an unencrypted channel. I I have leadership. I'm not yelling at him. I'm, I'm calmly, a leader. <laughs> I'm calmly giving him instru perfect instructions on how to start a mecha. Okay. From photographic memory of the manual. Do you have photographic memory? I do now. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. But you know, I'm yeah, I'm yelling at you. So how much? Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just like calmly make a, telling make a him. I'm like, look to your left. That switch there. Yeah. You know, it's got a cover on it. I don't know what I'm rolling for. 
Uh, you're subtracting two for sure. Um, still don't know what I'm rolling for. Initiative, I guess. Add, add two to that. You still can't get it online. Okay. So your your focus is diverted because you see people Sorry. on the platform, yeah. right? Meanwhile, um, you've got people on top of your crusader trying to get the hatch open at this point. So, yeah. So, so what are you doing? Is my mech operational yet? Yeah, yeah. Whew. Okay. So as those guys turn back around, I'm literally going to like take my arm and just sweep them off the catwalk. So you reach up. I mean, there's a catwalk's like up here. Yeah, right? yeah. So you're just going to reach up and like... Yeah, just like that. So he's not far. I know. Okay. I'm going to squeeze, but I'm not going to... I'm going to leave my arm well, are they there on the so catwalk he can or are they on the, the lift? Arm. They've come off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. remember. They came, so they're like... Pin, oh, you, that's you right. You got ponytail they, yeah, guy yeah. and them. So I basically just crush them. And I'm gonna use like the, I was like, climb aboard, like that. Well, first let's roll to see if you can. It's still gonna be a piloting roll. <laughs> like the no, the no, the no break eye contact yeah. roll. Uh, um, plus plus uh three, so nine and three. So All right, so you get the thing up there. Um, make a dodge check. Six plus reflexes. Awesome. All right, so. You know, that's, maybe, maybe he gets on the other side, and the ponytail guy's on the other side. I don't know about is that. that not good? That's not good. So, yeah. well, yeah, I mean, you somehow you'd have to put your hand between like two like dudes this, locked in melee, it's right? Like between two just fingers. like your finger. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, <laughs> oh, I'm not so, that dexterous. So you, yeah. you know, you just kind of crush the thing. Now, you know. Some of the dudes are trying to wiggle away, yeah. right? Uh, but I mean, you're pretty much squishing them to death, which is awful. Now. Uh, you, person. so you're trying to get this thing started. Up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm trying to. Can I, can I roll to see if I can give him a short, like a plus? Okay, so I'm like, you just gotta look. It's to your left. It's got a cover on it. A cover. Seven. Go ahead. Try one more Maybe time. Help you. Maybe you find me. the cover. Again, I don't know what I'm rolling again. Like what established that intelligence? Uh, well, you're reflex, but you're at a net zero because you're at minus two. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because you're so at the seven. wound. So you're seven. So the, the crusader comes to life. However, the second that you that you power this thing up, the hatch above you blows off, open. I mean, you disable the security. So the dudes above you just rip the hatch off the, the mech. And they're like, get out of the mech! So, Rick, the you. Fences. The guy in front of you uh, is not going to let you away so easily, right? Uh, you could potentially jump onto Tom's arm, but he is he is no, I'm, convinced I'm he is going to kill you. in a death you. dance with this guy. So I he is it. going to take an attack at you. Go ahead and make your... I got a 10. Oh, well, I oh you got a 9. Uh, so you take 4 points of damage. Oh my goodness. Where are you at on the condition monitor? Uh, I'm just in the second row. Okay. So it checks 5. Okay. That's not bad. Wow, you have so much... So much health. What's your? Oh right, you got strength three. Ooh, but you're at minus two to everything now. What was he? Uh, he's he is also oh. at minus two to everything. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. So. I swing back. Yeah. Kill him. You got this. Yes. So twelve. Yeah. Minus two. Oh, I'll just no. Him. Go to fourteen. You get two. him. You oh. hit him. Oh, he's injured. Five. He's hurt. Do I have edge? I don't have edge. Ah, do I have edge? I don't have edge. He's not. He's not that serious of a boss. One, two, three, four. You do five. Well, you're never gonna kill him. You can't kill this guy. He's gonna. He needs to come back. Oh, he's out. So yeah. you slash him. He goes flying back onto nice. the catwalk. Sword skitters not across dead. the steel. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe not. So I'm back. <laughs> this is gonna be Tom's next character. Well, no, he's gonna. Oh my god. Okay, so. You you just hack on one last time, um, and what do you want to do for your movement? Do you want to try to jump onto his mech? Um, no. Okay. Dan, you're up. Oh, I thought I was up. I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be up. So I'm gonna take my arm up. I'm. I look over and I see just like dudes <laughs> swarming into the cockpit, and I like, I I yell at the thing like, go to the you yeah. know yeah, go to the crusader. And I turn, like, there's nothing I can do. Uh -huh. The only idea I have is that I can, like, smack your mech. 
because you're probably just like harness smack his face yeah and yeah. like knock those guys down maybe give yeah. you time to get there with your shotgun oh this is gonna hurt the yeah. chest forward straight down yeah <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> shake him out yeah basically yeah i, I don't know That's what else thing. to do so yeah i just i'm getting my mech free of the of the gang plank and yep. i'm just gonna start you know causing complete havoc yeah just like like lasers like sausages <laughs> just like, just, sausages you know like, uh, like really hot sausages just all firing right. and everything yeah so and just praying that you guys manage to uh, make it okay yeah you're up yeah that's what I'm gonna do just alright so I'm you... like I mean they're above me or are they behind me I'm not really sure so they're above you okay. yeah and they got so their I'm just gonna my arm is going to go forward, and then the whole map is just going to go forward. All right, so make a piloting check. Um, again, this is just awesome. flat roll, no modifier. All right, so you get it. I mean, falling over is not a hard task. Yeah. <laughs> um, so your mech... I might be strapped and in. And you're, like, watching... Oh, no, yeah, I'm going straight to the, straight to the window. Yeah, I mean, you're not strapped in. You have to be strapped in. <laughs> All right. Uh, Please I be mean, strapped in. you're still going to probably take damage, but the thing... The My crusader goes to the ground, right? Wait, it just does a full face. Oh plan yeah, the absolutely. Yeah, that's I thought you were bending at the waist and just flopping. No, I was going full. No, face. he's he's yeah. going straight down. So <laughs> I don't have time to like, like maneuver. You, you things. see, like, just, like everything just like rushing towards you. Workers running out of the way, <laughs> cargo and stuff on the ground. The guy in the little train um, car. <laughs> all right, get out of here. Actually, I'm gonna let you roll. Roll for. Her. Just 1d6, and I'm gonna tell you how bad it is. One is very bad. Okay. So, uh, you just land on a bunch of normal supplies. Uh, <laughs> One would have been all explosives. Like that ammunition. I was thinking ammo, because you know, the Crusaders got so many yeah, missiles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you, boom, you land, you know, and mm. you take a ton of damage. So, you're gonna take um, three boxes. Actually, uh, make a make a roll. Do you take physical or, or fatigue? When it's you, physical. When do you take fatigue? I don't when you get punched, like he was taking fatigue when he was like punching the dude and ninja kicking him. Yeah, you take a bunch of damage. Um, so you take three more damage. So what? Um, con check seven. Con check seven. Got this. Do it. Oh, you gotta roll for consciousness. You got this, man. Come on. Maybe not. Dude, what happened to your hot dice? So high hands down. You on. you heroically crash your mech into the ground, um, splattering like <laughs> Karudins all over the place. The the dudes on top of your cockpit go flying, but you just hear a crash, and that's the last thing you hear. Uh, yeah. so you watch this, you're not sure what happened. So he's, he's running. Like to the mech and like stops and just sees the you know you like kind of stop as the mech crashes yeah. to the ground. Now there there were only two guys on the on the mech, right? There are well, still three dudes on the gantry. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna. So this happens. You're like running this way. I don't think I'm. I, this I, is me. I ran at all. Yeah, you were because we're to... looking at each other, and okay. then he's immediately falling down. Okay. Well, so... you know, there's some time in between these events. Oh. But I'm sure. shooting okay. him in the face with my shotgun. So you're distracted by the falling mech. You turn around, and oh. Yoshiro's gone. <gasps> Tons of uh, smoke. There's a smoke. <laughs> <coming. laughs> um, all right. So I, uh, in that case, I grab my shotgun and motion him over, yeah. so that I can get purchased. I don't know. You got like LRM slick up here yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's got the one. You're just SRM gonna hop pack inside the mix and a laser. Right, you're gonna hop inside the cockpit with me. If there's a jump seat in there, yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah, All right, sure. Yeah, so, so I, I just hop inside. Yeah, there is now. I put the yeah. head. I put the head up so you can, you know, okay. hop in. Well, hang on. There's still three dudes on the gantry shooting at you. Where? Right. Well, they were, were over here. Doesn't matter and where. He's they're shooting at over you. here. Yeah. So they're, they're, I mean, they're still shooting at him. Yeah. They're shooting Even with an active mech standing there. Shoot stings. Sure, dude. What else are you gonna do? With what I got? Right. Yeah. I shoot you're you're facing the other way though. So like, your is combine. You're facing this way, right? Yeah. He's he's trying to get on your mech. They're 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 like all here. Like they're gonna shoot. I have a back laser. 
You I'm do not. not. <laughs> Don't all mechs have rear facing no. weapons? No. I'm doing some type of athletics Sorry, uh, going. roll Ooh. and parkour hop. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Parkour <laughs> <laughs> into the dumpster. <laughs> oh. Parkour. Oh. Uh, so oh, I get a plus five, so 11. All right, so you make it. Um, I'm going to shoot at you with three guys. You want to dodge? Go ahead. He just dodged. I've just put... No, no, that was him jumping onto the mech. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Second one. Oh, wait, I forgot. You're at a minus two. You still would have gotten that other one, though. Right. But this, this one... one is questionable. Uh, yeah. So six, 12, 13... So five, and my athletics... 11. 10. I hit you. Take two damage. Uh, no, they're rifles. You take four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All these guys have lasers. It was declared. Yeah. Laser I mean, they like my laser rifle. Laser Wait, they're rifles. not just like little, little yeah, no, that... pistols? Like, where do they... Uh, They've been doing four. <laughs> well, is that going to change the outcome at all? No. I'm not... I, I'm currently <laughs> going to be unconscious on the... Uh, oh, you know you're things. about to be. You're about to be me. As you get shot, you remember your original plan of going back up the elevator. God damn it. That was a bad plan. All right, the last guy's probably going to miss this? you. Go ahead. No, that other one. This is the best plan. You, I blame the dice. You, you, you dodged the last one. Right. You need to make a consciousness check. You're like leaping over the, to the mech. It's when you get shot. Ah! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. I mean, Yoshiro gets you like, revenge. You slump down and you grab onto the mech. And just slide. And slide off the arm. <laughs> and black out. It's just you, Anders. I might be dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just fell four stories or something. <laughs> well, can I reflex and catch him? <laughs> what if I roll a 12? All right, if you, okay. yeah. If I can roll a 12. Oh, uh, not even That's close. <laughs> you like <laughs> accidentally swung. <laughs> he goes flying across the room. Oh, he's uh, like, oh, 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 dude, I think you're dead. Uh, you. <laughs> Thank you for your service. You're the last person. Yeah, man. That's you have no... Yeah, so <laughs> as he goes tumbling off, the radar blip dipping, you're on the ground. <laughs> and you can and see that, that the Crusader's head, I mean, there are just a hundred dudes, like, you know. Again, laser sausages. I'm yeah. not even worried about that right now. Yeah, so I, I get I get the comms up, and I, I crackle in. I put in our, our frequency, you know. Magpie, this is Blackbird. <laughs> yeah, I got communications. I, I know how to do this. Yep. And so I, I call in and, you know, I instantly hear Captain Johnson. Is that his name? I'm pretty Robert sure it Johnson. was uh, Major Carter Jacobs. Jacobs, that's it. That sound like. <laughs> You're like, Johnson. It's like, Anders, is that you? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, and I just, I say, you know, uh, emergency, uh, you know, get me connected to Robinson. Roscoe. Mm -hmm. What was his name? I already forgot. <laughs> Carter Jacobs. Jacobs. Where? Roscoe. Wow. Roscoe Jacobs. <laughs> oh, he's really fast. <laughs> right. Well, he also has taken some head trauma okay. <laughs> in this, in this, in this uh, combat excursion. Yeah, so I always just say, like, patch me through to, you know, Jacobs immediately. Huge, huge problem. Yeah. And so and he jumps yeah. on. Yeah. He's on the comms, and I just tell him the situation. I'm like, we're underneath, you know, the, the Rebel Stronghold. They have mechs. They have a whole mech hangar. They're building them. They're getting them from somewhere. There's, like, I look, you know, we, there's like five or more, right? Like, they've there's got a ton. bunch of them. We yeah. found them. It's like, Andrew, slow down. What the hell are you yeah. saying? I'm like, there are mechs underneath the headquarters. They know we're onto them. I yelled that out. I was like, you need to mobilize your forces now. You know, and I just start so as unloading. Soon as, as soon as, yeah, you start unloading. And as soon yeah. as that happens, like, you see, like, little bursts of light coming from the, from the ground. And there's little SRM launchers. <laughs> And boom, 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 and they hit your mech, and all of a sudden you see your heat spike up. Boop, 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 boop. You know, and your your all the lights are flickering. I turn around. I just again so lay waste all these. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, you're just yeah, and unloading up, yeah. SRM. So you start stomping around the hangar. Yeah, and I'm looking to move into the cargo <clears throat> tunnels. I assume that's the way that I can walk out of here. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're trying. Yeah. You're so, trying so your through, your best. I you know I'm I'm kicking. You know. All those dudes that are trying to swarm on your mech. I'm hoping you're going to regain consciousness. Oh, well, I'm hoping yeah. you're going to regain consciousness, but... Probably not going to happen. Did you bother to look for me as you started stomping I, out, or did you just crush me? <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> probably stepped You might have been inadvertently stepped on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I saw you fall. I don't the think The thing is, your heat continues to rise, right? They're hitting yeah. you with Inferno SRMs, right? And you're yeah. just alpha striking. Your mech is yeah. moving so slow. 
You know, you're it's taking hit after hit after hit. Yeah. I'm, yeah, that's all I can really do. Try to fight my way out of here, you know? All right. I'm blowing stuff up. There's, like, ammo boxes. These dudes are getting just, like, massacred everywhere. I mean, there's fire everywhere. Yeah. Just taking this place down, you know? I'm going to make it out, but they're not. This is all I know. <laughs> well, so, we're we're going to wrap up there. And yeah. the screen fades to black as, as fire and explosions... Your heat scale spiking higher and higher. Can I beat my... Will over? Anders survive? That's for my override check. Dan, did you survive? Uh, yep. Yeah, do we want to go back and see what you... Nope. Yeah. So listen, here's what we're going to do. Four we're going to wrap six. this one up. So you successfully notified the Crucis Lancers that there is, in fact, an enemy mech force underground. So we are going to wrap this one up with a big old-fashioned mech battle. What do you think right. about that? Love it. Okay. All right. Does this mean we have to make new characters? Because I don't think Kyle really lived. No. He definitely didn't live. Yeah. And you probably didn't live either. You're, <laughs> you're definitely dead. Your character. I'm, also, I'm not a pilot. So yeah. 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 Well, this was just sort of our, our test bed anyway. I enjoyed um, it. I but mean, it was fun. Yeah. We're very cinematic at the end. Yeah. I think I like um, the I like the underground assembly plant. That was a cool idea. I think next time it would be more of a focus on being an actual mech pilot would be kind of cooler. You know, because you're like like the the pop stars of the mech universe, right? They are. Like the battle tanks yeah. are like you're like the cool dude. Everybody's like, yeah, you can single handedly do everything. Whereas like right, when you're then like you're running around as a why mech would you, pilot. Yeah. Why yeah. would you? I mean, so you we, hang out. We, and we like, talked about this extensively, and actually. Someone had wrote in the comments, like, oh, it'd be so cool if you guys all played mech pilots next time. And I was like, you know, maybe. But you had made a comment that, like, there's so many parts of the Battletech universe to explore. And yeah. it's so focused on mechs, but there's, like, so much else out there. Dude, I love being a tank well, crew. That's no, I'm not saying we oh. should operate mechs. I'm just saying playing as a mech pilot, you'd have more um, anonymity. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. When it comes to, like, these investigations and things like that. Like, the explanation of us being fully integrated, integrated troopers for a, uh, a company, kind of like, now why do we have this much in it, like this much freedom to kind of do what we want? I thought we were like a, detectives. But as a yeah. pilot, you have that, like you're, you, you not serve. A, well, not that's, always. Not well, that's always. how I always, I always like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think of like Top Gun, when I think of Top Gun, they're just sitting in like a flight briefing all day. Yeah. And then like working out and playing volleyball. They definitely play volleyball a lot. Right? Like that's <laughs> like, play volleyball like pilots, like that's all they're like reading, you know, aerospace books about, you know, how many G's they can pull in a banked curve and stuff. I imagine they got a little bit more. They're more like, um, like, <laughs> like, know, uh, man. Green Berets or something like, in that, like, so I don't, I don't, I don't think, think they, I don't think they like, are. They have like the freedom, like maybe. Pilots are dorks. Like, oh, no, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not dorks. I mean, there is, well, yeah, so the literature, dorks, the literature so. is a little, like, dorks. the literature can be a little bit confusing because some of the books, I think, do a really good job of portraying them as like, like, kind of like you described them. They're officers. Not necessarily. I mean, they are officers. Right. They're like all, the right. And like, you know, there's a, there's a gamut of how tough they are and how like not tough they are. Right. Like. Just because they're they're mech warriors doesn't mean they're necessarily respected either. I yeah, know, it, it was okay. Like, yeah, um, but like you definitely have to be a crew of mercenaries. I think if we're all going to be pilots, we're the I agree with you. Like if you're going to do that sort of thing, to me it never really made sense if you're like a house regular, right? And then you're like going on like deep like investigation missions. Like they would never risk like they don't these have like highly services? trained. Right, they would have intelligence service. But if you're like a, a small merc outfit. Yeah. Right, and you don't have like you know an intelligence arm. Like you are the intelligence arm. You know, right? It works. Yeah. So because when we do, do it before, like that. we were yeah. we were being hired out by planets of security and things like that. Yeah, and, we always do. That. You know, I but but yeah. that's like really the only way pilots. that makes sense where you could all be mech warriors and also be doing like oh, the hands-on dirty work. If, if you were trying to make a spark, yeah, 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 I get it. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Yeah, yep. I, I liked. I no, I still it. enjoyed this game. Oh. This game, was, I mean, all the way through, even with the tank and tank battle, like, that, to me, I was so had a blast doing that. It was so awesome, like, yeah. Yeah. We don't always need to run mechs. I definitely don't agree with that yeah. comment, but yeah. I definitely also kind of, like, maybe a little more mech combat would have been kind of fun. Yeah, but I agree, too. I know the follow-up is going to be... It's going to be mech. Yeah, it's we're going to have... But, it, but it's not going to involve your characters, right? It's just going to be... Well, obviously, the, Colin the died. Right, Colin, <laughs> Colin is dead. Yeah. Um... You know, and also what's interesting is maybe. the um, 
we played regular pilots. But how would you RP, like, what's the benefit of RPing a mech pilot versus just playing tabletop? I guess I don't get the attraction. The, my, my thought on the RP, RPG part is that it allows you to play all that other stuff when, you, you know, the fun part of being oh, a no, pilot I, is the mech. I agree with you. Like, Star yeah. Wars, I, not to go to whatever, but everyone's no, always about Jedi or the Sith, and I'm like, I don't care about any of those. Like, I, I, just, I would rather play a as a Stormtrooper or I'd rather just play game. as somebody at the bottom of the, like, you know, like I, the, I wanna the be bottom an, of the bottom. I want to be an ADAT pilot. <laughs> it's like, that's kind of like, I'd rather live that, you know, experience yeah. that, you know, kind of tell a story. Uh, but, yeah, see, so I, that's I, why I, I kind think of, it's like the narrative that makes mm. it away. So like we were, so say that we were just like straight up infantry, like like you were imagining camos and everything. We got thrown into it. We were asked to go you know, secure this thing. We got dragged into this interrogation that like led us on this everything blew up and we had no choice and it happened and you know we're on the world and therefore we're the ones that can do the job that they need yeah and it's like you, you know it, that's that's like all those epic hobbit stories everything like the hobbits just a nobody right. right and he just happens to be and so he's elevated in the story to a higher position like you got to try to pilot a mech as like a tank guy right and it's like the like even like the D and D you, you almost pulled it off after right or like you yeah, or like you start as like the you know like the folk like yeah, the, the I'm, local I'm, I'm like ra i'm raking my my guard up, <laughs> right and all of a sudden like you find like a mom. magic sword yeah i mean i will say this like mech pilot or not like at the end there right the way that story sort of framed itself there was no way people were getting out of there alive there, I mean, no way. There's yeah. no way you could have walked the mechs out. Even if you were all, like, elite mech warriors, like, it just wouldn't have happened, right? Mm. Sure, right, yeah. Cinematically, <laughs> with the right roles, if, if we could have got the drop on them, three mechs out of nowhere could de decimate that place in, like, a second and get out of there, I'm sure. Yeah, I think and if, between, they had had jump if, jets, if I hadn't gotten shot going in, we would have had, between the Wolverine and the, the, the way, Crusader, I think we would have had enough firepower to be able to yeah. just... Blast. Like one flamethrower, yeah. But what I was imagining, and I'll just say it, is that I thought we'd get into them. I would blast up with the Wolverine through and get out of the top, call it out, and then we'd, we'd get out, and then we'd be chased, and that would be the mech battle that we're going to do. I, mm -hmm. That's kind of it. Oh, that's what I was, you were I was hoping I could set that up. We, we unfortunately, like, my dice rolls were terrible. Yeah, Your dice rolls head. were, all of you guys <laughs> they were, were Awful. Yeah. I, started, I started strong and you then did, yeah. just I just cascaded it into crap. And, then... and I think if, if we could have got the rolls off, we had a couple of really good key clutch rolls, thankfully. But yeah. that was that was sort of, I thought we would get chased and that could be the mech battle and urban thing where we're like, you know, we're some of the units and then we get reinforced and yeah, we survive. But at the same time, I thought it was awesome. Like, yeah. I, I thought we would make it. I'm, I didn't. Mean, I didn't <laughs> you mean really, to, like, really did. Kill huh? your character. Oh no! I yeah. I totally was <laughs> resigned that Colin was okay. gonna leave this. Well, I, as soon as he was like, "We're still in Max," I'm like, "Oh, we're dying." <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too often over. Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this is a good run. Yeah, this, this is this, this is, is fun. It was fun. Uh, yeah. No, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. But no, it's, it's, you got you know. You, you know what else would be you cool? Lived your experience, man. Dude, it's like I, we we talked about doing the interstellar so thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, like being like playing a campaign around like like a bo like boarding marines like doing like anti piracy operations <laughs> and stuff like that like doing some like real like deep space stuff would be kind of cool. I agree. I don't know. I told you my idea for the one right. No, I don't, I don't think so. On camera. Can't talk about it on camera. Yeah. As a Ooh. prologue to Ooh. the uh, to the one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll see. You know, it'll be interesting to see how we you know. Stretch that. Out. Um, yeah, really yeah, we could figure it out. I mean, we'll see um, and also, you know, so what Rick was saying, we were kind of all talking at the same time. What Rick was saying was when we did it with um, with Kevin, right? I think it was the was, the four of us minus not, you, no. and every other week it was we weren't filming it, but every other week we went from. RPG to the to you tabletop. know to tabletop. Do you remember that? That was like the, that was the that was like the genesis of Poe Ding. Oh, yes, I, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. and, 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 and the, stealth that tech, the stealth the tech, the stealth yeah, tech, yeah. right? Underground, the, the, yeah, Poe Ding escapes, Poe Ding yeah. escapes. Us. Everything's so underground. Poe Ding, <laughs> always underground. Mechanics. Well, no, they were just like hidden under like huts or whatever. Yeah. Like the mechs, it was like an ambush. There Classic Capel and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but, you know, we could also do something where we alternate week to week, but 
it doesn't necessarily need to be your characters in the mechs. Yeah. It could be related backdrop, you know, combat that's happening that somehow influences the story. So we can get creative with that. Anyway, um, curious to know how you guys, uh, you know, if you liked it or not, right? So definitely leave us a comment one way or the other. Um, you know, do you want to see more of it? Do you want us to do another session? Should Ponytail Guy become a recurring enemy oh my God. that pops up Just and is chasing us through the <laughs> It's our nemesis. That's, I wanted him to be like in the mech, like chasing us, you know? Oh, he'll be in the mech, oh, you yes. know, next time when we do the, when we do the finale, do the capstone. Out. He's like all messed up. And yeah. I feel like in that case, Rick's character has to survive. So you can come out of nowhere in a mech and just fight him. Or a tank, right? I, I mean, mean, the guy's got to be a yeah, I'm pretty sure trained. you're all dead. Yeah, he, he has, uh, <laughs> you have an Inferno SRM and you just like walk out and just like... Oh, maybe them. they bring him back to life. <gasps> As a cyborg. Yeah, like half man, half robot, and then they make him a mech warrior, but then he turns because it's corrupt. To the dark side? Are we just like blending all the genres? <laughs> and then he gets sucked into the warp and becomes a chaos demon? That's awesome. I love it. Uh, so uh, he's a dark he Jedi, a demon, cyborg... Whip forge Mech warriors. warrior. Yes. Yes. warrior. Yes. <laughs> We've got them I all. I love it. <laughs> Cross class with a bard. Yes. Okay, good. Done. Uh, his, his one arm is a, one is a heart. <laughs> I prefer a flute. But, all right. uh, I can't flutes. even. All right, well, listen, guys, we hope you enjoyed the insanity. We hope you enjoyed the, uh, the sort of the conversation at the end. Would love to hear what you think. Um, you know, if we should do more. Uh, of this if we should get back to more bat reps and we're gonna do some bat reps anyway um, But let us know what you think uh, Definitely subscribe if you haven't uh, we're getting closer to 10,000 So we're close. I think we're at 8,000 now, which is exciting uh, So definitely click that subscribe button uh, Leave us a like and like I said, leave us a comment if you want to get more involved head on over to patreon not only fans <laughs> Dan and I were talking about this earlier. We should start an only fans. We should it would be um Provocative. Provocative. <laughs> like I'll take I'll take sexy mech photos. I said yeah, yeah, yeah. the DFA thirst trap account. You know? <laughs> oh, uh, none of that. None of that on Patreon. Uh, but there's a account, calendar. <laughs> like, a calendar. like an atlas yeah, with like yeah. amazing, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, right, ah, perfect. Paint that. Where's Matt Steiner? Let's go. <laughs> Paint it up, Matt. Um, but yeah, one dollar, five dollar, ten dollar over Patreon. If you want to get involved, dollar uh, is all it takes, uh, and every dollar helps. Uh, so there's that. This and pencil, then this $1. pencel, one dollar, every gallon of gas, five dollars. <laughs> <Seven> <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what part of the world you live in. Yeah. Uh, also, guys, don't forget to check out Aries Games and Minis. Uh, that is my favorite go-to for all of uh, all of my BattleTech stuff, guys. Uh, just bought some Army Painter paints. So <laughs> that said, any closing thoughts, Tom? We'll start with you. Uh, I highly enjoyed this. Sorry for uh, talking over anybody if I did. It's just your excitement. Yeah. And you had great ideas. So I thought you did a great job of driving the story forward. Uh, really, really well done, I thought. Um, I had a vision in my head. Yeah, it was good. I didn't want to commandeer it, but... Did my death map to your vision? <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't, it didn't. When you were like, I'm going to die, I was like, okay. But honestly, I thought that you were going to ethically take care of that guy. He smoke bomb disappears and then you like Yeah, my dice yeah. rolling was a bit sporadic. It was bad. At times yeah. it was hit and then yeah. At times it was not hit. Yeah. At times it was blackout and fall well, off. I mean the taking back. like four uh, points yeah. of damage each hit is, is rot. Like th these well, once your armor's gone, yeah, dude, the melee weapons are brutal. Brutal. Yeah, brutal. Dan, closing thoughts. What did you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was from beginning to end, it's not about the ending, it's about the journey getting there, in my opinion. That's and beautiful. Uh, oh yes. And I, I enjoyed the only thing that kind of annoyed me is Tom kind of stole my my thunder today with uh, I went to choke the man and he's like no I'm gonna kick him off kick the, him edge. In the edge and I'm like what, <laughs> <laughs> what? why I wouldn't I get two guys yeah alert everyone yeah that's I'm like let me go at this guy quietly oh, yeah, and then right. Tom's, like, let me just, Tom's like yeah, let's... this is Sparta <laughs> <laughs> I was like I was All trying right, to well. make it look like an accident <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just fell uh, I'm sure guys like when we were walking like three dudes oh, fell yeah. off catwalk <laughs> just all the time <laughs> he said this was an OSHA establishment nobody's yeah. falling they're that's all true. Oh, I was going to say they're all clipped in there all these guys just like swinging good stuff oh yeah absolutely enjoyed it definitely want to do it again Rick closing thoughts uh love it man yeah. uh good times good friends yeah. uh very enjoyable yeah well thanks for joining us yeah. i will say from my perspective it was definitely fun um it's weird like you, you it was hard for you, you could to, like, tell right yeah. yeah like you're no, really 
Right, like, there's a, there's a certain level of, like, how much do I really let the players get away with? And, like, that's something we can talk about off-camera, because there's definitely, like, a, I, I don't want to be a party pooper yeah. and be like, no, you can't do that. But there's, like, certain things where it's like, you you can't, you can't do that. I definitely had moments where I was, like, I was so into the story of being told on this side and this side. Then you returned to me, and you're like, so, Dan, what are you doing? And I'm like... I don't know. I have <laughs> nothing in my brain right now. I have a, a jetpack. I mean, I'm going to fly into the map. It's difficult, right? He's kind of good have GM before. Yeah. Right? You guys, I've, I've never mean, done it, so. So I kind of like, sometimes it's like, all right, give me like three seconds. Just go do something. Come back to me. Yeah. Three seconds. Yeah. I'll have something. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, it was good, though. I thought everybody everybody had a, had a lot of good contributory parts that, that sort of brought the story together. It was a lot of fun overall. So we'll do it again. One way or the other, I'm sure, um, whether we film it or not, is it's up to the fans. Yeah. Only up to, <laughs> only up to the fans. All yeah. right. Well, on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.